incredible amount of lightning, much more than we've seen so far with the other supercells that moved through the area tonight. So that's one of the things that tells us that this one is more intense. It, boy, I don't uh, like what I see there at all. This is debris detection here, lofted debris. No question, we've got debris no. here and a tornado on the ground as you head southeast of Six Vane, right along Highway 112, right in this vicinity, just north of St. Charles. This is debris, a classic debris signature here on radar, heading toward Southard Church. And that's where that tornado could be headed next here. It's moving off to the east-northeast, Morton's Gap, Erlington, the next two communities in line. And you can see I-69 there. That's heading southbound out of Madisonville. I do not like what I see there at all no, in southern it is, Hopkins County. Yeah, that is very, very concerning. My my heart sank when I had seen that. This is a very large destructive tornado. History of producing catastrophic damage. In fact, look at this right now right. on velocity. We do have a very, very tight rotation uh, just to the north of St. Charles. Uh, pretty much moving parallel with... Uh, Kentucky Route 454 and I-69 making its way towards Morton's Gap. Morton's Gap, you need to take cover immediately. Do not joke around with this storm. This has uh, produced uh, major damage for folks just to the west of the WBKO viewing area, and it's making its way to the north and east. A very fast-moving tornado as well, and uh, the photos I've been seeing on social media, it has been... Uh, it's uh, very, very unusual for what we see in Kentucky, especially at night in December. But yes. it's making its way to the north and east. Very fast moving, very destructive tornado just to the south of Madisonville and making its way towards, again, Morton's Gap. Yeah, so you have Morton's Gap here. You have Erlington also in the path of this. You know, a large destructive tornado. Those just aren't our words, folks. Those are words coming directly from the National Weather Service office out of Paducah. And Ethan, do you have another update? Uh, yeah, the uh, National Weather Service in Louisville has issued a uh, tornado warning for Ohio County over Earlington. I'm going to go ahead and um, move out of this and take a look at that really quick. I don't know if it was... I'm not... Okay. Okay, so they're just extending this warning all the way out in advance of this okay, tornado warning. Okay, I see warning. what's going on there okay. now. So I just seen that Ohio warning. Ohio County, right? Yep, I just wanted to make sure before we go any further, but okay. okay. But we'll yeah, go back to this. that's what's going on there. Yeah, the Weather Service offices, both in Paducah and Louisville, not messing around with this one at all, extending that warning all the way out, not only through Muhlenberg and McLean counties, but also now into Ohio County. Keep in mind, two things here. One, we're talking rapid movement of this storm to the east-northeast at about 50 miles an hour. And two, this is a large, destructive, and dangerous tornado on the ground, and it is going to be tracking very rapidly through Hopkins County, soon over into Muhlenberg County, soon could affect McLean County, and if it holds its own, likely to affect Ohio County. There is the debris detection. We noted just a moment ago, lofted debris, and there's no doubt about this. What we're seeing here along Highway 112, very strong demarcation there of debris lofted from the ground, and this is just to the south and west of Erlington, and also just to the south and west of Madisonville, and boy, that is not what we want to see on velocity scope, where we have an area of gate-to-gate -gate shear here, bright green against bright red. Uh, that is a classic indication of a large destructive tornado. Folks, that's what we've got on the ground now, very near Erlington, just south of Madisonville, not far away from Morton's Gap. And because of its quick movement to the east, northeast, we've already got tornado warnings extending out into Ohio County. This is a, a nasty situation here. There's a broader scope. Again, tornado warnings through Central City, northern Muhlenberg County, most of McLean County, including Calhoun, Island, Livermore, Sacramento, you're in that warning. And then now out into Ohio County, basically the area from about Hartford northward is in that uh, new tornado warning. The Weather Service issuing them well in advance of this large destructive tornado that we've got to assume is still on the ground and is not far away from Madisonville closing in on Morton's Gap, closing in on Erlington as we speak, and also will be moving right over I-69 within the next few minutes just south of Madisonville, a very heavily traveled interstate here. There's a closer look. Again, bright green here on the left-hand side of your screen, your Southern Church, Richland, against bright red near Erlington. This is never, ever a good indication. This is a sign that we've got a strong tornado on the ground. Ethan?
downstream cities. Uh, Morton Gap uh, already a, a part of this. And uh, also, too, Mesonet site at Hopkins County near Earlington had an 80 mile per hour wind gust. So not only are wow. we tracking a particularly dangerous tornado on the ground confirmed, but we're also dealing with very, very strong winds surrounding this tornado. So no matter what, if you are within this polygon, you want to take cover immediately. Do not joke around with this storm. Uh, we've seen damage photos from folks uh, off towards the Paducah area where this storm was earlier. It is gut-wrenching. So uh, very, very important. If you are in any of these warnings, even if you're up in Ohio County, you want to take cover now and stay there until that warning has expired because Absolutely. in Ohio County, the next 30 to 40 minutes, this will be moving into your neck of the woods. And again, this is a particularly dangerous situation. And if you see the polygon uh, outlined there in Madisonville, I'll go and get the, the arrow here. This one yeah. here, that is a new tornado emergency because of this particularly dangerous and catastrophic tornado that is moving off to the north and west, or north and east, excuse me, at 50 miles per hour. And um, I'm going to take a look out at any kind of reports, not seeing any reports right now, but nonetheless, though, this has been a long living tornado mm -hmm. moving through Kentucky over the last couple of hours. Um, and so, again, if you're in these warnings, you want to take cover immediately. Yeah, we watched this cell, Ethan, develop over the Mayfield area of Graves County earlier. Uh, we were noting that it was tracking very rapidly to the north and east. We were already getting concerned at that point about what we were seeing over in far west Kentucky. And the rapid movement toward our area had a little window of a breather there, but that window has already closed on us. Here is the debris detector. And boy, it's right over I-69. Yeah, it's right over the interstate there. This is south of Madisonville. Here's Madisonville. Here's US-41. This is now south-southeast of Madisonville, right over I-69 and just to the north of Morton's Gap. So that tornado could be right over Erlington as we speak. And in fact, crossing over Erlington right now and getting ready to cross over Interstate 69 per the latest velocity scan. Now keep in mind, these scans come every five minutes. Looks like we've got some new warning information there coming down from the National Weather Service. Uh, Ethan, what do we have? Uh, yeah, they're just continuing this. It's, it's the same messaging of the e extremely large and extremely dangerous tornado. It's been confirmed. Okay. And it's uh, near Morton's Gap moving to the north and east. Now, even moving faster at 65 miles an hour. That's how fast mm. this thing is moving. And it has had wind gusts reported at the Mesonet sites over 80 miles an hour. And, of course, uh, we have confirmed the debris ball aloft uh, with that debris detection just a moment ago. And also you can see a very, very strong yeah. couplet there. Look at that. I mean, that is as classic as it gets, and especially here in South Central Kentucky. It's not often that we see a couplet this strong, this pronounced, but that's what we've got. Bright red against bright green, where we have strong inbound against strong outbound winds, and that is a sure sign of a strong tornado. It's getting ready to cross Interstate 69 south of Madisonville. If you live in Muhlenberg County, especially from Central City northward, please be in your home's lowest level. If it's not a basement, then it needs to be in an interior room, a closet, hallway, putting as many walls between yourself and the outside world that you can find. And here are some of the communities in the path of this. You've got the Anson community, Madisonville Municipal, Earls, that's getting out here into Muhlenberg County, Earls by 1101. And then to keep in mind, eventually out toward South Carrollton, Bremen, as well as Central City, all within the next half hour or so. Got to be in a basement or your home's lowest level right now. Tornado crossing I-69 as we speak, south of Madisonville, large and destructive. This is a dangerous situation. And this will be eventually moving into Muhlenberg County. And it's going to be doing so pretty soon, given that more rapid movement now to the east northeast, what, 60 miles an hour, Ethan? 65, 65 miles an hour. 65. So, Muhlenberg County got to be in a place of safety right now, especially in the northern part where you're underneath that tornado warning. McLean County, most of it, underneath the tornado warning, and a good chunk of Ohio County. Here's Hartford, Fordsville coming into view. I know this seems like it's a little bit down the ways right now, but given that forward movement at 65 miles an hour, that's why the National Weather Service did not fool around and went ahead and issued that tornado warning for the northern part of that county. Yeah, not to, not to interrupt you, but not to mention not only the fact it's moving really fast, this has been a long-living tornado. Right. This, is, this has been on the ground for a very long period of time, 
And as you can see, it is a very strong tornado. It's produced catastrophic damage over in uh, Mayfield, Kentucky, also in Princeton. Both of those cities experiencing widespread damage from this confirmed and dangerous tornado. And that's why we're urging you, if you're within any of these tornado warnings, even if you're in Ohio County and you're within this polygon, you want to take cover now. You want to be extra careful with this because this is moving very fast. It's been on the ground for a very long time. We do not want to mess around with this tornado warning. And as we zoom in on it once again, very, very strong couplet yes. uh, there towards Grapevine in Hopkins County, just to the south and southeast of Madisonville. Yeah, it is right over I-69. We should get new velocity data here in just a little bit. And that will likely bring it over I-69 and over toward Highway 70. This is heading east of Madisonville. 70 crosses over into Muhlenberg County. There is the Pond River. Here is Muhlenberg County, right-hand side of your screen. We've mentioned a lot of these communities over and over again tonight. These cells have been tracking over some of the same territory. Here's Sandy. Here's Bremen. You've got South Carrollton just a little bit east of there. Here's Highway 181. This large and destructive tornado is going to be crossing over the Pond River, heading into northern Muhlenberg County within short order. Remember, it's moving to the east-northeast at 65 miles an hour. One thing you have to keep in mind, too, sometimes with these stronger supercells and stronger tornadoes as we check debris detection, eh, still don't like it, what I'm seeing. It got even worse. It got worse in yeah, that last it scan. It sure did. That area bright blue there, that is a sure sign that we've got some debris being lofted from the ground into the atmosphere and now that debris signature is showing up here closer to the pond river south of the anton community south of highway 85 and yeah this is getting ready already to cross over to muhlenberg county there's the latest velocity scope just updated now between highway 85 and also the communities there east of madisonville this storm not wasting any time getting ready to pounce on Muhlenberg County. Next in line, you got Sandy out here. Here's Highway 70. You've got Millport, northwestern side of Muhlenberg County. And sometimes what we see with some of these larger tornadoes are right hand turns. So don't be surprised if we see that. And that's why you certainly can't let your guard down if you live in a place like Antioch Church or along Highway 70, even though the storm projection is to the east northeast. And we certainly don't want to second guess the weather service on that projection here. But Sometimes we see with the stronger tornadoes, right-hand turns. So don't let your guard down if you live around Antioch Church or along Highway 70 there in the western part of Muhlenberg County as this could take more of a right turn. But right now the official movement has it going to the east-northeast at 65 miles an hour. Large, destructive, strong tornado that has made its way from Mayfield through Dawson Springs, through Hopkins County, getting ready to cross over the river here, the Pond River, now into northern Muhlenberg County, where already we had one tornado touchdown tonight in Central City. And unfortunately, we're dealing with yet another tornado warning, and this time a larger tornado and a more destructive scenario getting ready to unfold here for those of you in northern Muhlenberg County. I still don't like what I see at all here as we widen out the scope on velocity, bright green against bright red. Your tornado will be in this vicinity right here, east of Madisonville, between there and Central City, heading toward the Sandy community of Muhlenberg County right now. Please be in your basement in northern Muhlenberg County if you're underneath that tornado warning. Same for southern McLean County. Sacramento, this is going to pass very close to you. Same for Island, same for Livermore. And then you can see Ohio County out here uh, that polygon flashing, do we have an update on that one, uh, Ethan? The, the, the flashing one, that was just, uh, they're updating the, the speed of which the tornado is moving. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's now still moving to the east-northeast at 60 miles per hour. So it's okay. still down a little bit, but still a very fast-moving, uh, confirmed, dangerous tornado uh, making its way into uh, extreme eastern portions of Hopkins County, northern Muhlenberg County, and of course that trajectory heading towards McLean and also northern Ohio counties. Yeah, again, there it is. You can still see a lot of lightning, more than we've seen all night, associated with this supercell storm now heading away from Madisonville. And there's the debris detector still right there over the Pond River, the Hopkins Muhlenberg County line. That's where debris is being lofted from the ground into the sky. And that is a shot, the sign of a strong tornado. There it is on velocity scope once again, 
right over the Pond River. It's moving away from Madisonville, moving toward Bremen, Sandy. You've got South Carrollton out here, too. You've got small house that's over in Ohio County. Keep in mind, Ohio County, northern part of it, you're already under a tornado warning associated with this. There's Sacramento up in McLean County. You have Island also in McLean County. US 431, it's going to be upon this corridor very shortly, gang, given that very rapid movement to the east northeast at 60 miles an hour. There's Highway 70 at the bottom of your screen. Can't rule you out of this one either. Central City, unfortunately, it talked about the right turners earlier. I'm not going to say that this one's definitely going to do that, but that whole area here in northern Mueller County needs to be in a place of safety right now. And that's certainly true for the Sandy community and also Bremen, also Sacramento. These communities next in line here for the most dangerous part of this supercell thunderstorm, one that has dropped a large destructive tornado. This is a dangerous situation, folks. This is a confirmed tornado on the ground. Moving out of Hopkins County, we still have lofted debris showing up there. No doubt about that, where we see the light blue indicator there right along the Pond River, east of Madisonville and west of Central City. Right in this area is where that large tornado would be right now, and it will soon cross over into the northern part of Muhlenberg County. The rapid movement will take it into places like Small House as well as Centertown. You live in Hartford, live in Beaver Dam, need to be aware of what's going on here as this is going to waste no time rolling through northern Muhlenberg County, may even brush with McLean County on its way over into Ohio County. And there you see Centertown. This may appear to be a good distance from you, but given that rapid movement to the east northeast at 60 miles an hour, it is not going to waste any time at all crossing out of Muhlenberg County and into Ohio County. So tornado warnings continue for this area. And you can see a, the polygon flashing there over the yep. plain in Muhlenberg County. What we got? All right. So it's an update from the National Weather Service in Paducah. Again, observed tornado damage threat catastrophic uh, for M McLean and Muhlenberg counties until 1115. So another 15 more minutes. Okay. So this thing is moving very fast still. It looks like it's slowing down, though, compared to earlier, moving to the north and east at 55 miles per hour. So, again, very fast moving, confirmed, extremely dangerous tornado. And uh, notice the bright greens and bright reds. I'm going to take a look now at correlation coefficient to see if that debris ball has largened. And yes. Roy Daz. Yeah, right there that is, that That's is northwestern Muhlenberg County. That is not a good sign at all. That's, that's, that's in Millport, making its way to the north and east, again, zooming. So if you're in Bremen, near Kentucky Route 181 and 81, Stroud, Sacramento, take cover now. No chances at all of being outside. You want to be inside the lowest level of your building. A basement is the best thing you can do in this case. And uh, again, take cover now because this is a confirmed dangerous tornado. History of producing catastrophic damage and there's been several photos of just out of the WBKO viewing area to our west of what that has done. And folks for in Mayfield and also in Princeton now making its way into northern Muhlenberg County. I've been looking at social media, not seeing any uh, images. But the thing is, though, is that if, if you're in these locations, don't worry about looking outside and trying to take photos for us. You want right. to be in that safe space. Make sure that you are protected. Make sure your friends and family are protected as well in these, uh, this location, particularly in northern Muhlenberg County and southern McLean County. That debris ball is significant. Yeah, that's I, something that you might see in the Great Plains during April or May during uh, what is the height of storm season there. This is something you rarely see in south central Kentucky, but unfortunately we are seeing it tonight in the northwestern corner of Muhlenberg County. That is a debris ball associated with the large destructive tornado that has been confirmed. It has traversed its way now out of Hopkins County into the northwestern corner of Muhlenberg County and back to velocity scope. Still don't like what I'm seeing here at all. We still have a bright red against a bright green. Oh the my. The KPH shear and yeah, look at this around Millport. There's likely a large tornado on the ground very close to if not right over Millport right now that is going to head toward Highway 181. This could straddle the county line here between Muhlenberg and McLean County south of Sacramento over the next little bit. But if you do live in Sacramento or watching us there, need to be in your tornado safe space right now, such as the case for Bremen as well as South Carrollton. Stroud once again under the gun tonight. 
need to be in your tornado safe space as well. There is South Carrollton. We're looking down US 431. This is going to be upon US 431, folks, very, very soon, given its quick movement off to the east, northeast at about 55 miles an hour. Still don't like what we're seeing here with the inbound versus outbound winds. Very tight area of rotation, very strong rotation now. And there's that debris ball. Uh, that is a classic looking debris ball signature, as classic as you'll ever see. And we are seeing it right here in our area tonight. And it's right over Highway 181 now between Millport and Bremen and very close to the McLean County line just south of Sacramento. Indeed, a very dangerous situation. Yeah, so uh, if you're near Stroud right now, you want to take cover right now without yes. any regard. You want to go down to the lowest level of your building and stay there until this warning has passed. And uh, not seeing any other reports right now from the National Weather Service in Paducah. Not seeing any, uh, any other reports in that regard, but still, this is a very dangerous situation with a confirmed, large, extremely dangerous tornado. You see that area of blue. That is where is what we call the debris ball. That is where debris is getting picked up by this strong, large tornado, getting picked up and thrown aloft into the atmosphere. And taking a look now at velocity, the latest on that, the latest on the rotation. And you can see that very tight, bright couplet right to the north of Bremen, making its way towards Stroud. So Stroud, right now, you need to go to that safe space immediately. Also, small house. And these locations we've been talking about tonight with some storms that moved through earlier with tornado warnings. Oak Grove Church in Ohio County. Also, a small house uh, right at the Muhlenberg, Ohio County line. This is moving off to the north and east, moving very, very fast at 55 miles per hour. And uh, this is going to be moving into Ohio County here very, very soon. In fact, probably the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes. And very, very strong winds. In fact, the Mesonet sites uh, down in Hopkins County earlier reported wind gusts uh, over 80 miles an hour. So very, very strong winds outside of the tornado for that matter. But this, again, is an extremely large and dangerous tornado uh, with regards to this storm. And there's even some more rotation, it looks like, off to our south near the sandy area. But we're keeping all eyes towards the Bremen location because of that very large debris ball indicating some destruction ongoing. And that debris ball looks to have gotten even bigger, Shane. Yeah, it has. Uh, it, that is very concerning to me. Yeah, uh, near there the it is right along the McLean Muhlenberg County line. The Weather Service out of Paducah continuing the tornado emergency, they're calling this, for Hopkins and also Muhlenberg counties and McLean County Island. You are next in line here for the potential of a large destructive tornado. We know this thing has been on the ground. This has been a long-lived supercell that started over far west Kentucky earlier near Mayfield, has worked its way steadily to the northeast over the last 90 minutes or so, has now arrived in our area and still not liking what we're seeing here at all on the velocity scopes near Bremen. That is likely where the tornado would be at this time, right along the McLean, Muhlenberg County line. Here's Sacramento, here's Highway 81, here's Highway 181, and here's the Bremen community. That tornado likely just north of the Bremen community right now along the McLean, Muhlenberg County line. And as you head off to the east, northeast, Stroud would be next in line. Island right here on the top end of where that cone has been drawn here within the next few minutes. And it's not going to take very long, Ohio County, before this is upon you. So we're talking Matanzas. We're talking a small house. You've got to be in a tornado safe space right now. Yeah, that's right. And uh, again, uh, Island and Stroud, you got like two minutes until this will be in your location. This thing moving to the north and east at 55 miles an hour, and it's making its way closer towards the McLean, Muhlenberg, Ohio County location. And uh, this will be making its way into Ohio County probably in the next 10 minutes. So yeah. uh, Matanzas, Centertown, get ready. Get in that safe space immediately. Get prepared and have that weather radio on standby. And also, uh, thank you for tuning in if you're listening. But nonetheless, though, all these locations need to be in that safe space now because of this strong rotation. In fact, take a look at that, Shane. I'm going to go ahead and point this out really quick. Yeah. Notice how there's red and green and then red and green over here. That is an indication of a very strong tornado. Yes. Yeah, you've got so much rotation. It's wrapping around that circulation center here. 
on that southwestern flank of the storm. Uh, never, ever a good sign. And that's what we got here just north of the Bremen community right now, north of Highway 81, southeast of Sacramento, right along the McLean Muhlenberg County line. And okay, there is a new sweep here. This is from debris. That debris ball still very much evident there. That is southwest of the Stroud community, heading toward US 431. That is the sign of a strong tornado. And this thing is likely still on the ground as it moves towards Stroud. Here's US 431. Here's Island, southeast of McLean County. We're looking south of Livermore, between Livermore and Central City here, basically. Stroud, you're next in line. And then here's Ohio County already. That's why the Weather Service issued that warning as early as they did, knowing that A, this was moving very quickly, and B, this had a large confirmed tornado with it, this cell. And it's going to head toward Matanzas, as well as Oak Grove Church, and also toward the Centertown communities in the next little bit. But right now, Stroud is next in line. The tornado crossing over US 431 should be doing so any minute now. And then it will cross over the Green River. We'll take it into Ohio County near the Matanzas community. And it looks like we're getting an updated information there on one of the existing tornado warnings. Uh, what do we have, Ethan? Yeah, that's right. It's, it's, it's still a tornado warning observed. The tornado damage threat is considerable, uh, again, for McLean and Muhlenberg counties until 1130. Okay. A confirmed large, extremely dangerous tornado near Livermore or eight miles north of Central City, moving to the north and east at 55 miles an hour. And the National Weather Service in Louisville uh, has that uh, tornado warning in effect for Ohio County and actually extended it to Grayson County and also uh, into like Breckenridge County, Breckenridge as, well. County as well. Yeah. So extreme northwestern portions there you go. of Grayson County. So they're already preparing with this uh, extremely dangerous tornado making its way beelining to the north and east at 55 to 60 miles per hour. Very, very fast moving, large, long living tornado. Yeah, two bits of, of bad news there. One, the fast forward movement of this and two, the fact that this has been declared large destructive and catastrophic by the folks of the National Weather Service. Again, there is where the tornado is, just south of Livermore. Now, in far southeastern McLean County, it is getting ready to cross over into Ohio County as we speak. So here are the ETAs, 1109 for Green River Generating Station, 1112 for Small House, 1127 in No Creek, 1135 for Barnett Creek Church, and then 1140 for Dewhurst. That's out here in central Ohio County. These communities north and northwest of Hartford and Beaver Dam, which will be down in this vicinity here. Here's US 231. Here is I-165. So this tornado will likely cross over two major arteries here, 231 and I-165, within the next 10 to 15 minutes. Folks, you don't need to be heading out on the roads here and traveling north down I-165 out of Hartford, out of Beaver Dam in the next little while. You need to be staying put and in a place of shelter right now. Still seeing that debris ball here. We don't see quite the tight or bright colors we saw a little while ago, but it's still evident there between Livermore and Central City right near the McLean, Muhlenberg County line, not right near the Stroud community over US 431. So there's still evidence here and strong evidence of that, that we've got a tornado on the ground that's getting ready to cross out of Southeast McLean County and into Ohio County, threatening areas like Matanzas, like Centertown, like No Creek. And there is how it looks on reflectivity. You've got blinding downpours. This is going to make it extremely difficult for anybody to see this tornado coming. So got to heed the warnings here in Ohio County and also now Northwestern Grayson County, given the swift movement of this, it's rain wrapped and that means it will be virtually impossible to detect now here at night. It is going to cross over US 231, I-165, likely within the next 15, 20 minutes or so. There's the Currently community. That's right near the McLean, Ohio County line, right along the Green River. Green River extends southward like that out of Livermore. Weather Service is saying the tornado was near Livermore. Looks to me to be a little bit south of there, but nonetheless, in southeast from McLean County, close to Island, close to Stroud, crossing over now toward Kirtley and then getting into Ohio County. Ethan, you got some new info? Uh, yeah, so that tornado warning, they have it all the way up into um, portions of Breckenridge County. Mm -hmm. So 
right now, if you're looking at the scans, we mentioned with that debris ball, it looked like it was beginning to broaden a little bit. However, it looks like um, the atmosphere is more favorable for this to strengthen going into Ohio County. So, yeah. not good not news. Not what we want to hear. Yeah, nothing we don't want to we, we don't want to hear this, but I'm letting you know because this is the latest from the National Weather Service and uh, favorable air in Ohio County and also getting towards Breckenridge and Grayson County. So that's why those warnings pushed all the way out that far in addition to the fact that it is moving very fast and is a very large destructive tornado. Yes, again, take this threat very seriously, folks, in Ohio County, especially if you live north of Hartford and Beaver Dam. There's a new velocity scan coming in. Again, it may not look quite as impressive here, but keep in mind this whole area is getting a little bit farther away from the radar site near Fort Campbell. Okay, there comes some new sweep data, and uh, that, uh, still, th that does look dangerous there. Now over western Ohio County, area of inbound versus outbound, strong rotation as a new velocity sweep came across. I was hopeful there for one minute, but I, I still don't like what I see now heading towards Centertown heading right along Highway 85, the area of rotation now in western Ohio County. This is going to head toward Hartford. It is going to head toward Highway 136, the confluence there with US 231. Here's 231, this line right here. Here is I-165 as you go north of Hartford toward Washington Church. Here are the communities, places being impacted. You have No Creek at 1119, Hartford 1123. That's the county seat of Ohio County. Then you have Beaver Dam at 1126, that's just south of Hartford. And then you have Dukehurst, we mentioned earlier, Dukehurst at about 1130 this evening. Keep in mind, rapid movement means it's going to be upon you there, Dukehurst, within the next 17 minutes. You've got that much time to prepare yourself. Get you and your family into a safe place, be it a basement, be it an interior room, a hallway, a closet, as many walls between you and that tornado as you can possibly find. This has been confirmed. This has been a large, destructive tornado. It has tracked through several counties across western Kentucky. Still is likely to be on the ground as it moves out of Muhlenberg County now into western Ohio County, very close to Centertown. And next in line is going to be Hartford. There's Highway 69, which goes right through the city of Hartford. You've got Highway 136 here as you work your way southeast around the Heflin community. And there is the heavily traveled I-165 that runs from Owensboro to Bowling Green. This tornado is going to track right over 231 and over I-165. And it will do so within the next 15 to 20 minutes or so. We still see debris detection here. It's not quite as pronounced as it was a short time ago, but it's still there. It's over western Ohio County right now. And that tells us that this tornado has been on the ground throughout Hopkins County into Muhlenberg County. Now that debris showing up into western parts of Ohio County as the tornado crosses the Green River, heads towards Centertown. You can still see a lot of lightning, especially for this time of night and this time of year. And that extends out toward the Hartford community right now. But again, our biggest concern is that tornado. And it's going to be a rain-wrapped tornado. Heavy rain here, blinding downpours from Megan, Bells Run, through Heflin, two-inch rainfall rates per hour. We're not so concerned about flash flood potential tonight, but bottom line is you don't need to be heading out here at all in Ohio County right now. A very dangerous situation. There is the latest velocity scope. Tornado that has worked its way out of Muhlenberg County now, heading toward places like No Creek. There's Highway 136 as you work out of Livermore, travel eastward through No Creek down toward Hartford. Hartford, you're in the tornado warned area. Please be in a safe spot right now. Sunnydale, not too far away. This is going to be upon you quickly, given the rapid movement to the east-northeast. And then you've got Fordsville. You've also got Dundee in the potential path of this tornado. It's going to cross over 231, as we mentioned, and then I-165 within the next 10 to 15 minutes. That's how rapidly this thing is moving. Here's Beaver Dam, bottom of your screen. Beaver Dam, this likely stays just a little bit too you're north. We'll keep an eye on it for you. And there is the area that surrounds that tornado right now, filled with a lot of lightning, the most we've seen from any uh, supercell so far tonight. And this has been a long-lived, long-track supercell, the kind that we don't see very often in South Central Kentucky. And we don't see debris balls, the type that we saw just a few moments ago 
on that debris detection like we saw that was going through southernmost McLean County, northern Muhlenberg County. That's as pronounced as we've ever seen here in quite some time. So that's very worrisome indeed. So we have to assume this tornado is still on the ground as it heads toward the No Creek community right now, as well as US 231, I-165. Again, here is Beaver Dam. You've got Hartford in the scene here. Storm moving to the east, northeast at speeds anywhere from 50 to 60 miles an hour as it heads away now from Muhlenberg County. That's how quickly this thing has been rolling to the east, northeast, and also is moving away from Livermore. So places like Livermore, down towards Stroud, and even down towards Central City, I think you're off the hook now as far as large uh, tornado threat is concerned. It's now over Ohio County in which that tornado is likely to be between Small House and No Creek. That's the area of concern. Right now we're seeing that brightest red and this will eventually head out toward Sunnydale along Highway 69 toward Dundee, Fordsville. We mentioned Fordsville, I know, a number of times tonight. These storms have been rolling over some of the same counties same communities we've had tornado warnings now i think this is the fourth one tonight uh, for ohio county if i'm not mistaken no no you're Probably correct the yeah. for the northern half of the county uh, unbelievable but that's the way things have been going so far tonight the best energy best dynamics to this point still off to the north and west of bowling green where the air is more unstable the air is certainly juiced up we mentioned during the newscast an hour ago dew points are running in the mid 60s tonight that's almost unheard of for december around here you get that combined with the fact that you got a low level jet about 5,000 feet off the ground screaming right along with winds of 70 plus miles an hour and you've got the makings of a severe weather outbreak and indeed that's what we've got tonight again this storm over ohio county has had a history of producing a large destructive tornado had the tag catastrophic with it by the national weather service in paducah a short time ago. <laughs> Ethan, what's the latest? All right, to let you catch your breath for a moment, uh, looking behind where this tornado moved through, there are some power outages. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the first one in uh, Hopkins County. Over 1,500 people are without power in Hopkins County, so that's a good indication that there has been some strong damaging winds that have knocked down power lines. Uh, looking over in Muhlenberg County, currently over 2,200 people are without power uh, for tonight over in Muhlenberg County. Looking into Ohio County, it looks like the uh, K Energy Corporation, uh, people who have that as a provider, 1,400 people without power in Ohio County. And that happened all at once. So either a strong wind knocked a major transformer or perhaps this large tornado knocked that out. And this scan, uh, not as... Uh, well defined as previous scans, but still a lot of bright red and dark red. Very good indicators of this rotation, very strong rotation. In fact, you notice a little white dot. That is where data is missing. That's how strong some of these winds are uh, surrounding this rotation of this large, dangerous tornado. This has been a long living tornado lasting over two hours, uh, moving well off to our south and west, heading this direction and it is uh, moving very, very fast as well, moving to the north and east at 60 miles per hour. Taking a look at the latest when it comes to the debris signature. It's still very present over in Centertown. In fact, uh, you see it's very well defined to the north of Centertown. And I'm going to take a look now and see if uh, we got any other reports at this point from the National Weather Service. And yeah, Ohio County, over 1,500 power outages happened uh, very suddenly. And the latest from the National Weather Service in Louisville, uh, considerable tornado damage threat for, again, Ohio County, Breckenridge County, Grayson County, and then just to our north in Hancock County, outside the WBKO viewing area. A confirmed large, extremely dangerous tornado moving to the north and east at 60 miles per hour. So you see that flash there. I'm going to take it back to velocity. That way you can see the rotation of this storm. And you see that flash there. Northern portions of Grayson County, so where Heights Falls is. I'm going to name off a few locations uh, surrounding where this flashing is. McCoy, Van Zant, Glen Dean, Tar Fork, Kirk, Westview, Cave Spring. All of you need to take cover now because this has been a long-living, extremely dangerous tornado, which is now over No Creek, heading towards Sunnydale, heading towards Taffy and Jingo. They actually just updated this tornado warning. I'm going to go ahead and read that off for you. It is observed. It is considerable tornado damage. 
um, moving over Hartford, moving to the east at 60 miles per hour. So as Shane mentioned earlier, it's beginning to make more of an eastward track. So uh, that is one thing to be of concern uh, with this warning. But still nonetheless, though, moving a very, very fast rate at 60 miles per hour. And taking a look again at that debris ball, again, over No Creek. Actually, to the south of No Creek, it looks like, according to uh, our radar here, Max Storm HD. But again, very dangerous situation. If you're in this warning, whether it's in Ohio, Grayson, Breckenridge counties, go to your safe space. There's no reason to be outside in this case. Go to that lowest level of your building, whether it's a basement. If you're on a, a building that does not have a basement, a bathroom, a great idea. Also, the stairwell, a closet, or the center of your home. The biggest thing is you want to be away from those windows. You also want to cover your head because, again, this is a large, extremely dangerous tornado that has the history of producing catastrophic damage and has been a long living tornado that started well off to our south and west towards the Kentucky, uh, Arkansas, and Illinois state line. That's how far it's been. It's been making its way, uh, pounding its way through Kentucky over the last few hours at this point, Shane. Yeah, large confirmed tornado out of this one. Cannot emphasize enough the importance of being in that tornado safe space. As Ethan just mentioned, if you live anywhere here in the path of it, in Ohio County, in places like Sunnydale, places like Olayton, and also Shreve up in the far northeastern corner of Ohio County, this is eventually going to affect the northwestern corner of Grayson County. Here's Highway 878. And also the Falls of Rough area and getting up here into Breckenridge County, there's Van Zant, there's Forsville, all these areas in the tornado worn sector right now in that polygon. And there is the area of concern. It's right over US 231, latest report for the National Weather Service. Tornado confirmed on the ground near Hartford, likely just north of there. That's going to cross over I-165. Here's 165. And I suspect with the next velocity scan that should arrive here in the next couple of minutes, it will likely be over, if not a little bit to the east of I-165. So if you live in Dukehurst, you've got to be in a place of safety right now. There's that debris ball, still very evident. It has not gone away, folks. It is right over I-165 right now, just a little bit to the east of there, where the strongest detection is located now, east of the No Creek community and also east of US 231. So we've got to assume that this tornado is on the ground very close to, if not right over I-165 at the moment, just to the north of Hartford. If you live in Hartford, you still need to be in a place of safety as this is very dangerously close to you, especially on the north side of the city as you travel up 231 and up I-165. And then out here toward I-69, you see where that debris ball is headed. It's headed that way, so that's a sure sign that the tornado itself is right behind it and heading in your direction there and will likely arrive in, if not very close, to the Dukehurst community within the next few minutes. Remember, this is moving rapidly to the east, northeast, and if anything, trying to turn a little bit more to the right, like we talked about a little while ago, as some strong tornadoes do, they do what we call more of a right-hand turn with time. Uh, which is also something we don't like to see. It's a sure sign of a, a long track supercell with a long lived tornado. And that's what we have right now. We're central Ohio County. It's approaching Highway 69. Here is Jingo. Here is Sunnydale. There is that area of debris being lofted from the ground by that tornado now, likely just a little bit north of the city of Hartford. Uh, Ethan, you have a report? Uh, not a report here right now, but I just want to mention this just to cons just to let you know how extremely dangerous this tornado has been. As I mentioned earlier, it moved through Mayfield, Kentucky, which is to the west of the WBKO viewing area. Just a report that came in from Mayfield. The courthouse was destroyed. Oh, my goodness. So this is why we're taking such extreme precautions with this. Not to mention, this is a confirmed large tornado. And... Chatting with the National Weather Service in Louisville, it looks like there are no signs of weakening anytime soon as this makes its way to the north and east. So again, if you are in northeastern, or excuse me, northwestern Grayson County and southern Breckenridge County, you want to be prepared. You want to be in your safe space now ahead of this large and extremely dangerous tornado. I'm going to look really quick and see if there are any other reports at this point. And I'm not seeing that right now. Okay, but as you do that, yeah. uh, Ethan, we've got some new 
Velocity data in. There is that debris ball still very evident. It's now northeast of Hartford, and that would be right over Highway 69. This is 69 here running northeast of Hartford. So the tornado would likely be right after uh, where that debris ball is. So now northeast of Hartford is where that tornado is likely to be located by no more than just two or three miles between Hartford and Sunnydale at this point. And there it is on velocity. Here is our area of concern right now. Notice that uh, white little pixelation there. Also not a good sign there between Sunnydale and Hartford. That's a sign of strong rotation. This area heading towards Sulphur Springs. Here's the Narrows community. It's going to be in Sulphur Springs, that tornado, which has been observed, which has been confirmed. At 1128, within the next minute or two, that's how quickly this is moving. The Narrows at 1134. Olayton at 11.39, Shreve at 11.46, and then Van Zant at 11.52. And that's getting out here into the northwestern corner of Grayson County. Here's Grayson County on the far right-hand side of your screen. Here's Breckenridge County on the upper right of your screen. It's going to be into the Falls of Rough Area and likely heading toward Rough River Dam. If you live around Rough River Dam, if you've not already sought shelter, Please, we urge you to do so. This is a dangerous situation, a long track tornado here with a history of producing major damage heading now through Ohio County. There is the debris ball associated with that now between Hartford and Sunnydale, just a little bit south of Sunnydale, a sign that we've had a tornado on the ground with this one. We still do. And now heading between Sunnydale and Jingo, and this will head toward the Narrows community. They're still... A lot of lightning associated with this storm across central and northern parts of Ohio County, illuminating the skies here, maybe illuminating the base of that storm cloud of where a train storm spotter could see it. But I beg of you, do not go out and chase this thing, folks. This is way too dangerous. Rain is wrapping this tornado right now. You're not going to be able to see it anyway. So stay put, stay in your tornado safe space if you live in northern Ohio County, in Sunnydale, Dundee, you're still the tornado warning. Fordsville, you're still in the tornado warning. Then out here into northwestern Grayson County, northwestern sliver of the county out toward Highway 79 in the tornado warned area. And it looks like we're getting some new information here with this tornado warning in Ohio County, Ethan. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Weather Service in Louisville, uh, continuing the tornado warning. It's observed considerable damage threat likely. Um, large, extremely dangerous tornado located eight miles northeast of Hartford, moving to the north and east at 60 miles per hour. So pretty much the same messaging we've been saying mm -hmm. uh, for the last 30 minutes or so. Yeah, so there's a new velocity scan for you. So that tornado very close to, if not right over, the community of Sunnydale right now. There's a lot of lightning situated around that rotation center. Now, you don't see as much green against the red as you did earlier, but remember, this is farther away from the radar site, which is coming at us from out of Fort Campbell. We know, and we know from the National Weather Service, too, that strong rotation is still there. Debris ball, it's still there. It's you know, actually getting actually worse, too. It's a little bit more impressive than it did a short time ago, and it's just south of Sunnydale in central Ohio County right now. That's where the tornado would be. And then looking farther downstream, Shreve you are likely next in line for this. And then we talked about Rockdale, Falls of Rough up here as you head toward Rough River Lake. Here is Rough River Lake now showing up on the right-hand side of your screen. So this tornado could come very close to the Rough River Dam, if not go right over it within the next half hour or so. The official movement has it east-northeast. Again, sometimes we see these work their way a little bit more due east, especially these strong tornadoes like the one we have here in Ohio County. It's very close to, if not right over Sunnydale right now. Also, Highway 69. Dundee, please be in your basement or the lowest level of your home right now. That's between Sunnydale and Fordsville. Also, if you live in Narrows, please be in your home's lowest level right now. Dangerous situation here with an observed tornado. And that, as mentioned, we'll be tracking into far northwestern Grayson County. Here's Hickory Corner coming into view. Here's Highway 736, and then here's Van Zandt, that community over in the southwestern corner of Breckenridge County. I saw another polygon flash there. 
Uh, Ethan, is that a new update for the Weather Service? Basically, the same thing we've been echoing is that uh, it's a confirmed large, extremely dangerous tornado. It's a particularly dangerous situation, by the way. This mm. is a very large tornado uh, moving to the north and east at 60 miles per hour, heading towards Grayson and Breckenridge counties. And you can see that flash there, including Hickory Corner, also Shreve, Van Zant, Axtell, McCoy, Kirk. These locations, you need to be in your safe space now. There's no excuse at this point. You need to be in that lowest level of your building, whether it's the basement, whether it's a bathroom, in, uh, it's the center of your home, a stairwell, a closet, anything you can do that's away from windows, that's the best thing you can do at this point uh, with this confirmed, large, extremely dangerous tornado making its way to the north and east. And as Shane has mentioned, this is rain-wrapped and very hard to see. So do not even try to attempt to go outside and try to confirm this with us because radar is confirming that very well with us because right. this right here, showing you a product, what we call debris detection. Notice that bright green and yellow. That is where uh, that likely is where that tornado is. It's moving off to the north and east very, very fast. And again, it's rain wrapped. Taking a look now at reflectivity. This is radar of what we show every day. A lot of heavy rain associated with this storm. A lot of lightning, too. So yes. it's, it's probably a lot of thunder with that, too. So uh, hopefully you're able to uh, be as calm and collective as possible with all of this situation going on. And that's the best thing you can do in these situations, Shane, is being calm uh, and, and being collective with all this going on. Right. We're telling you this with urgency because we've seen the, the photos and the reports coming out of this. So it's very concerning with us. But as long as you're in your safe space and as long as you're away from windows, that is the best thing you can do. And uh, just know that it, doing that with being a, a calm demeanor, that is the best thing you can do right now. Exactly. We've been stressing throughout the day the importance of having a plan of action, knowing exactly where you're going to go and what you're going to do in the event of a tornado warning, much less an observed tornado like what we've got right now in Ohio County, whether that's a basement or home's lowest level. Ethan, you got an update? Yes. Uh, in addition to the fact this is bringing in strong winds, the damaging tornado, we're also dealing with a lot of power outages. I'm going to go ahead and name off a few counties that have been impacted by this particular tornado. Over in Hopkins County, Currently, almost 6,500 customers without power. In McLean County, almost over 1,300 customers are without power. Muhlenberg County, over 2,200 people without power. Ohio County, over 3,500 customers are without power. So this is telling us that this tornado breaking power lines, creating those loss of power. So that's why we told you earlier today to have those phones charged and have the batteries in that NOAA weather radio because this is what we were afraid of and it is indeed happening at this moment. But again, this is a confirmed large dangerous tornado moving off to the north and east very, very fast at 60 miles per hour. Take a look at the latest when it comes to that debris ball we've been tracking uh, all evening. And radar's having a hard time loading and refreshing. I'm going to go ahead and take a look now and see if we can get Louisville's radar to cooperate with us. Okay, no, it just updated. Good. It has just updated, and that debris ball still very prominent, very uh, eerie. Uh, and it's towards the Narrows in uh, Olaton locations in northeastern Ohio County, making its way towards the Tri-County area of Grayson, southern Breckenridge, and northeastern Ohio County going towards Shreve. If you're in Shreve right now, you want to take immediate cover right now. And uh, also, too, we are dealing with uh, that very, very strong rotation. And I'll take a look now at velocity and see uh, any updates with that. And again, this is a large, dangerous tornado making its way to the north and east. Notice the bright reds and dark reds towards Fordsville. Narrows. Narrows right now getting hammered by this very strong, dangerous tornado making its way to the north and east towards Van Zant, Hickory Corner, Shreve. Moving to the north and east, again towards uh, northwestern Grayson County and to southern Breckenridge County. Uh, again, this is a very, very fast moving tornado, a very large tornado as well. And I'm looking for any updates with regards to reports. I'm not seeing anything yet other than what we've been telling you so far that this is a confirmed large, extremely dangerous tornado. Haven't seen any photos yet from anything in Ohio County, but at this point we do not care about that the biggest thing is making sure that you are safe in that safe space waiting until this tornado passes and hopefully we are not seeing any injury reports but we do not have any confirmation of anything in that regard right now right now though we are tracking 
this rotation. Again, moving into the Tri-County area of Ohio, Grayson, and Breckenridge counties. Shane? You're right, Ethan. In a lot of cases, especially with these overnight events, we don't know the extent of the damage until sunup the next day. And that could be the case out of what we're dealing with tonight. Having said that, this has been tracking over several counties, so I would not be surprised if we start to see uh, some photographic evidence of damage that has occurred from this supercell thunderstorm as it is traversed now several counties across western Kentucky over the last couple of hours, originating from down in Graves County. Report of the courthouse in Mayfield actually destroyed tonight by this tornado, a long tracked one, as it has now arrived in northeastern Ohio County between Narrows and Fordsville, the area of concern right now, beginning to move away from Highway 69. Here is Breckenridge County. Here's the Van Zandt community. Here's Hickory Corner. That's in the northwestern side of Grayson County. Here's the Short Creek community. Litchfield, this is going to stay to your northwest. You're not in the Warren Polygon area in Litchfield. This is away from you. But Rough River Lake, you are in the Warren area. And you can see that this tornado is going to get ready to move out of Ohio County and head toward Falls River up very shortly. Ethan, you got an update? Yes, we have another uh, tornado warning. This one's not quite as large as this one, but nonetheless, though, we are going to cover it because it is in the WBKO viewing area. This is in northern portions of McLean County. So if you're in uh, northern portions just to the north of Calhoun, you see that rotation there. That is a radar indicated tornado warning. This is going to be for northern McLean County, extreme northern McLean County. Just want to bring this up really quick for folks who might be up in that location. Okay, we don't really have much viewership up there uh, north and northwest of Calhoun. Uh, but nonetheless, again, for those of you up in McLean County, the area northwest of Calhoun, that's a tornado warning. That would include the uh, Beach Grove and Elby area of McLean County. Going to focus back once again on northeast Ohio County. Still seeing a debris ball there. Uh, this is now east of Narrows, south of Fordsville. Still under a tornado warning right now. Still have to assume that there's a tornado and perhaps a large one on the ground heading toward Highway 54, the Shreve community. It's on the northeastern corner of Ohio County. That's right there. And then we've got Hickory Corner. Here is Rough River Lake now coming more into view. So this tornado could pass right over Rough River Lake if it holds together in the next half hour or so. Here's Indian Valley on the south side of the shores of Rough River Lake. Here's Short Creek. The tornado warned area basically runs from Indian Valley and heads on down toward Highway 54. The area of concern right here now basically between Fordsville and Shree, that tornado, and it has been large, it has been observed, destructive, and now heading into the southwestmost section of Breckenridge County, which is up here, top of your screen. There's the Van Zandt community. Here's Highway 110. If you live anywhere along Highway 110, please be in the home's lowest level right now. Same goes if you live around Hickory Corner and in the Shree community. This is going to be bearing down on Shreve basically any moment now and I think with the next velocity sweep that comes across this will likely be crossing out of Ohio County and into the southwestern corner of Breckenridge County near Van Zant between there and also Hickory Corner now as we adjust the view there's Rockvale coming into view you got Highway 261 that goes out of Breckenridge County Hancock County the corner of it there and then down toward the Fordsville area you live along that highway need to be in a safe spot right now. Here's Grayson County, bottom of your screen. Here's Rough River Lake. And this tornado could potentially move right over Rough River Dam and right over Rough River Lake, given its trajectory over the next half hour or so. There's still a lot of lightning cluster in this vicinity. In the area of Kirk, Hardensburg would be at the top of the screen. That's up there in the uh, central part of Breckenridge County. This is all happening to the north of Litchfield. Litchfield, this is not for you this tornado warning in Grayson County. It's the northwestern part of the county along Highway 79, Highway 54, this area right here now. And there we go, new sweep coming across. So that's taking the tornado out of northeastmost Ohio County and into southwesternmost Breckenridge County. Again, here's Rockvale, here's Shreve. Tornado very close to Shreve right now. This is the Ohio Breckenridge County line right here north of Highway 54, and we still have a debris signature right over the Shreve community and now right over the Breckenridge, Ohio County line. This thing has been long-lived, folks. This is the, the 
first time in a long time that I've seen such a long-lived debris signature showing up on our radar scopes here in South Central Kentucky, which of course is not what we want to see. And this is now rolling into southwestern Breckenridge County. Significant damage likely out of this tornado, which has been working its way through our northwestern counties, through Hopkins, then the Muhlenberg, far southern McLean, and now most recently Ohio County, getting ready to move toward the Rough River Lake vicinity, if not right over Rough River Lake. So Rockvale, the next minute or so, Fentress McMahon at 1151, McCoy at 12.04, getting after midnight here. And then Locust Hill, 12.10, and the Woodrow community at 12.15 in the morning. All these communities in southern Breckenridge County. But if you live in northwestern <coughs> Grayson County, please do not let your guard down. You're still under the tornado warning there. It's going to be a very close pass there around the Fentress community and also the area around Hickory Corner. Here's Hickory Corner, and here's Highway 736. If you live around that area, need to be in a safe spot as this could pass very, very close to you as it moves through the far southern tip of Breckenridge County. It could graze northwestern Grayson County, moving over Highway 79 and then potentially right over very close to Rough River Dam. There's Rough River Dam right there. Here's Rough River Lake extending out to the east of where the dam is located. So that tornado very well could move right over the lake as we head through the next half hour or so and could create more significant damage as it does so. Again, if you live in this area, far southern Breckenridge County, northwestern Grayson County, and you've not already sought shelter, please, we beg of you to go ahead and do it. This has been a long-tracked, dangerous tornado that has produced a lot of destruction in its wake and was declared dangerous and catastrophic by the folks of the National Weather Service office when it moved through places like Caldwell and Hopkins counties a short while ago. Ethan? Yeah, so uh, we still have this uh, very strong rotation. Kind of hard to tell at this point on velocity, but it's still there. Don't uh, let your guard down if you are in southern Breckenridge and northeastern Grayson counties. In fact, there it is. That new scan just came in showing us that rotation still very tight, very strong. And I'll get the pointer out real quick to show you right in here. So right to the north of the Grayson County line into southern Breckenridge County. I'll zoom into that location to tell you where this strong tornado is. Dempster, you are in the direct path of this tornado. Get in your shelter now. There's no excuse at this point. You're going to be in that lowest level of your building immediately. Also, the Rough River Lake State Park, it's making a beeline right towards that Rough River Lake Dam. And I'll take a look now at the correlation coefficient. This is letting us know where that debris ball is. And there it is, uh, that green and yellow indicating where dirt and dust has been picked up in the atmosphere from this large destructive tornado, making its way towards Hickory Corner, uh, Fentress McMahon, and also the uh, Rough River Lake Dam, as Shane has been mentioning. I'll take you back to velocity real quick and show you where that tight couplet is. And uh, taking a look at that near Dempster, Glen Dean, Hickory Corner. You're all in the path of this extremely large and dangerous tornado, observed and confirmed. So at this point, you don't need to be outside at all. You need to be uh, in the lowest level of your building. And then also, too, making sure you wait until this tornado warning is expired before you even make any actions getting away from that safe space. And again, this is moving off to the east and northeast, moving at 60 miles per hour. Very fast moving, very dangerous tornado making its way into southern Breckenridge and northern Grayson County. So, again, if you're in Hickory Corner at Rough River State Park, you want to be in your safe space immediately. This is heading towards the Rough River Lake Dam. And, again, this, this is a look at velocity. Very strong, very tight rotation associated with this. And uh, in addition to all this, very, very strong winds. We're also dealing with very, very heavy rainfall along with this. And uh, looking at uh, some reports, it looks like the Rough River State Park is a shelter. Great to know that they have some shelters there. The thing is, though, at this point, you need to be in that shelter now because this is heading in that direction. Yeah, you really don't have much time to travel if you're in Breckenridge right, right at this now. I, I wouldn't do it at all. I would shelter in place at this point. Yeah, yeah, immediately shelter in place. Uh, but nonetheless, though, we are tracking that and uh, taking a look now at other reports, perhaps. I'm not seeing anything, but still, this is going to be a very dangerous tornado, causing a lot of power outages throughout portions of the WBKO viewing area uh, due to this extremely dangerous tornado. That scan just updated, and you can see that bright red and dark red 
right near the Rough River Lake Dam. And it is still a very strong, dangerous tornado. Taking a look now at that debris ball, see where that's located? Yes, it is right next to Rough River State Park. Kind of hard to tell at this point with the radar being as high up as it is. But nonetheless, though, we've been having multiple confirmations, multiple observations. This is a dangerous, long-living tornado that's been tracking this direction for the last few hours and at this point still creating uh, likely damage and also with that very, very strong winds and power outages in its wake. Shane? Yes, and now our next area of concern around Rough River Lake State Park, which is right about here. Here's the dam. There's Highway 79 that goes right over Rough River Dam. This tornado is likely to cross right over Rough River Dam and Rough River State Park within the next few minutes. So you're just about out of time if you live around Rough River Lake right now to go ahead and seek shelter. If you've not already done so, we beg of you to do it. This thing has been long lived, observed and dangerous and is now moving through extreme southern Breckenridge County. Still not off the hook if you're in extreme northwestern Grayson County. Here's Hickory Corner right here. You've got Highway 736 heading southward. Here's Highway 79 also heading southward from out of Breckenridge County into Grayson County. This whole area is the area of concern right now. So don't let your guard down in northwestern Grayson County. If you live around Hickory Corner, still need to be in your place of safety right now. That's especially true along Highway 79 near places like Falls of Rough and also near Rough River State Park. This tornado likely to go right over or very close to the state park area along Highway 79, heading toward the Axtell community. That's just to the north of Rough River Lake. You've got McDaniels up there as well in southern Breckenridge County. Here's Highway 259. Eventually, this is going to be heading toward 259 that runs south out of Hardinsburg and toward Litchfield. So this tornado is going to be heading in an east-northeastward fashion, likely following the northward shores, it looks like, of Rough River Lake. Here's Rough River Lake right here. Again, the dam is situated right there near the center of your screen, and you have the Rough River State Park also in that vicinity. And right there, we still see indication of debris. It's not quite as pronounced as it was earlier, but it's still there around the Fentress community. And there is Highway 79, Rough River Dam, right there, and the State Park right there next to it. Again, this tornado likely to go right over that vicinity, crossing over Highway 79 and will likely move right over Rough River Lake, at least the northern shores of it. Here are the southern shores down here, extending into Grayson County. The northern part of that lake most under the gun right now for that tornado potential as it works over Highway 79 between Hardinsburg and Litchfield. This has been a long-lived supercell now. has reached the northern portions of our coverage area but it has wasted little time in doing so. First, moving through Hopkins County, we had a report of a large destructive tornado in Dawson Springs earlier. Catastrophic was a tag put around that by the National Weather Service office in Paducah, something we don't see around here very often. And then that moved through Hopkins County, northern Muhlenberg County, southern McLean County, has made its way out of Ohio County and is now working through southernmost Breckenridge County. And that Tornado would be right over Highway 79 at this time, very, very close to Rough River State Park. And as we fan it out for you, show you the motion and the timing, here's Hinton Hills at 1150. That's happening right about now. Same for St. Anthony's School as far as estimated time of arrival. Cave Spring at 1154, Cave Spring Church at 1155, and then Westview, all these communities here in southern Breckenridge County at 1157 this evening. So within the next seven minutes, again, this thing is hauling it to the east northeast speeds of about 50 to 60 miles an hour. Those speeds have been variable, but the bottom line is that it's been a fast mover and that it's been long tracked and observed. Ethan? Yeah, so I just got word from our news director and I just got it confirmed on Twitter that Governor Andy Bashir has issued a uh, state of emergency for Western wow. Kentucky because of the damage that's happened so far wow. in Mayfield and in Princeton. More damage likely to come at this point. Uh, the night is far from over and we are still tracking these uh, strong to severe storms, also catastrophic uh, tornadoes that were moving through earlier. But right now still have that 
particularly dangerous storm, this tornado moving through uh, northern Rough River Lake, making its way through Breckenridge County into extreme northern portions of Grayson County. And taking a look now at the correlation coefficient, this is telling us where that debris ball is. Again, towards Cave Spring, Hickory Hills, and towards the northern shores of the Rough River Lake area. And that's where this large tornado would be if uh, we, we don't have any confirmation of it being there uh, from any reporters. However, we do have observation uh, reports that it is uh, considerable. And taking a look now, uh, Breckenridge, Hardin, Meade counties, a confirmed large, extremely dangerous tornado located seven miles south of Hardinsburg, moving to the north and east at 60 miles per hour. So we are still dealing with this extremely dangerous tornado, again, making its way towards uh, the north and east now, heading towards northern Hardin County, uh, towards Vertries, Radcliffe, Rosetta. You're all in the path of this new tornado warning. It is a dangerous tornado. It's been a long living tornado, and it is, again, moving very, very fast, moving very fast at 60 miles per hour. So it's observed considerable damage likely with this tornado. And it has caused damage in its wake, which is why Governor Andy Bashir has issued a state of emergency for the state of Kentucky, considering the damage it's caused in western Kentucky so far uh, here tonight. But again, that rotation, new scan just coming in from the northern shores of Rough River Lake towards Cave Spring and Westview. That's where that strong rotation is. Taking a look now at the debris ball, the updated debris ball. And again, that looks to be very prominent there where that area of yellow is. It's not quite as uh, defined as it was earlier, but still, nonetheless, though, there is debris showing up on radar. There is rotation showing up on radar. And we do have observed, confirmed reports that this is still on the ground, still a, a long living tornado making its way through Breckenridge County. And again, we do have tornado warnings, new tornado warnings in effect for Hardin county also into meade county it's going towards the outs of the wbko viewing area but nonetheless though this where this long living tornado is making its direction towards i'll go ahead and see the the timing of all of this over the next hour in the next hour here are some times that uh, will tell you when this tornado will be making its way here in just five minutes woodrow woodrow in breckenridge county you'll be under the gun for this tornado being in your neck of the woods. At 12.09, just after midnight, Rosetta will be under the path of this tornado. And the times are jumping because in Hardin County, that's Eastern time, 122, four corners. At 140, it'll be at Radcliffe. And by 142, it'll be at Longview in northern portions of Hardin County. But again, this is a very fast moving, dangerous tornado moving off to the north and east at 60 miles per hour. We'll go ahead and zoom in back now towards uh, northern portions of the uh, Rough River Lake area with that rotation very prominent moving towards the Westview community, uh, Kentucky Route 259, also towards Cave Spring, uh, also just to the north of the Rough River Lake. And taking a look now at that debris ball, seeing if there's any updates with the uh, radar scans. And you can see that bright yellow. In fact, we'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And it's kind of hard to tell at this point I'll go ahead and switch over to our Louisville radar and see um, what this looks like and we'll see any updates. Yeah, so there is that debris ball from the Louisville radar. A lot more prominent than what we had on our radar uh, over Hickory Hills moving towards McDaniels. This is a large, confirmed, dangerous tornado. If you are in McDaniels, McCoy, Cave Spring, and Breckenridge County, you want to take cover now because this is moving right over you, over towards uh, the Rough River Lake area. And taking a look now at velocity, take a look at that, that rotation and see any updates on what that rotation looks like. I will go ahead and switch that again also to our Louisville radar, which it's still having a hard time showing up. But nonetheless, though, there is some uh, rotation associated with this. In fact, it's still a confirmed, extremely dangerous tornado. Uh, again, in southern Breckenridge County, extreme northern portions of Grayson County uh, along the Rough River Lake. Shane? Okay, so now along Highway 259, here's Cave Spring. You've got to the northern part of Rough River Lake. Extending out here, you have New Salem Church, Fairview Church. This is the area of biggest concern right now. This is a tornado that has traveled through several counties, has been declared as large dangerous and also catastrophic by the National Weather Service. 
and we have to assume that it's still on the ground now in southernmost Breckenridge County. Still cannot let your guard down, though, on the other side of the lake here from the Cave Spring community traveling down Highway 259 as you head south from out of Hardensburg. And then here's the McCoy community also still in that tornado warned area. And keep in mind that warned area extends out now to the east into the eastern part of Breckenridge County. Here is Rough River State Park. The tornado beginning to work away from that area. Again, it's moving very quickly here, east northeast, anywhere from 50 to 60 miles an hour. Still lots of lightning showing up here. That's been a constant throughout the life of this supercell. Long track supercell now in southern Breckenridge County. There's Westview, that's north of Cave Spring as you travel up 259 toward Hardensburg. Very dangerous spot to be in right now. And there's the Fairview Church area. Here's Burris, and then here's Hudson. That's where that tornado is going to be headed next as it moves into the eastern part of Breckenridge County. Northern Grayson County, still not quite off the hook just yet, especially here around the Hinton Hills area. Hickory Corner looks like the worst of the weather is beginning to move away from you, and it's up here now into southernmost Breckenridge County. And as we pan our way a little bit farther to the east, there you see the Hudson community. Here's Highway 401. Here's the Dyer community. And there's a new velocity sweep. It still looks dangerous here, folks, as you work your way now east of Westview and just a little bit to the west of the Burroughs community. Here's Woodrow here at the top of your screen. That's in central Breckenridge County. This is Breckenridge County we're looking at here on Max Storm HD. Far northern Grayson County there at the bottom of your screen. This is well to the north of you in Litchfield and into Breckenridge County right now. Moving toward Burris, between there and Woodrow, this is where the tornado would be at this time. And we still have to believe that this could very well be on the ground. This is debris detection here. We've been noting a consistent debris ball, still some showing up there. Okay, all right, I think we have some video now. This is video from out of Central City. This is video of the tornado that occurred in Central City earlier tonight. And it would be illuminated. There it is being illuminated by the lightning. Wow, that is an incredible shot. Wow. Very broad, very wide tornado. Again, what you're looking at here is the tornado that touched down earlier tonight in Central City in Muhlenberg County. That's the one that we know did significant damage to a hardware store on Everly Brothers Boulevard there as it moved through Central City. And wow, the funnel very evident there being illuminated by the lightning strokes. You can hear the sirens wailing in the background. Again, this was earlier from Muhlenberg County, but wow, that is very dramatic footage indeed. That is right. And that's right, and now we are going to continue our coverage with the current tornado warning that is in Breckenridge County. Still that strong rotation towards the Woodrow community, also towards Burris and Custer in Breckenridge County. And then again, this is a particularly dangerous storm. This has had the history of producing a long living tornado. Still an observed confirmed tornado uh, making its way uh, into uh, Meade and Hardin counties. Meade County is outside the WBKO viewing area and northern Hardin County you can see there, uh, Vertries, Radcliffe, uh, you're in the path of this tornado. You can see where that bright red and dark red are close together. I'm going to get the pointer out and show you that really quick. Right over Woodrow, that is where that uh, tornado would be, large destructive tornado would be, making its way towards the east and northeast, heading towards Four Corners and again towards the Vertries community over towards Hardin County. And we'll take a look now at the uh, reflectivity. This is showing us where the rain is. And this tornado, very likely rain wrapped at this point, and indeed it is. A lot of dark red indicating very heavy rainfall. A lot of lightning with this as well, with a lot of thunder, I assume, uh, with that. So if you're in these locations, you, we don't need confirmations. The videos are incredible to see. But the thing is, though, what's more important is for you to be in that safe space. The lowest level of your building, whether it's the basement, uh, the bathroom, the stairwell, closet, anywhere where you're away from windows and you are at the uh, most structurally and in in integrity spot of the building, whether it's the stairwell, again, the uh, basement, or perhaps the bathroom. Those are the best spots you can be in this kind of situation. And again, tornado warning still holding on for Breckenridge County, extreme eastern portions of Breckenridge County at this point, also into northern Hardin County, just to the north 
and to the west of E-Town, including Radcliffe and also southern portions of Meade County, which is outside the WBKO viewing area. We'll take a look now at velocity where that rotation is once again, just to the south of Rosetta. You see where that dark red and bright red is, and that is where that strong, dangerous, long-living tornado is continuing to make its way through those communities of Woodrow into Breckenridge County. And uh, we'll also be dealing with uh, a lot of lightning and a lot of heavy rainfall associated with this. And again, we'll take a look now at the debris ball, see if it's still there. We're not really far away from the, from the radar, but you can see. Notice how that blue shoots all the way through Louisville. That is the debris getting hit by the radar beam. And you can see just all that yellow towards the Woodrow and that green towards uh, center, Senatesville, excuse me, Senatesville, that location. Still a lot of debris associated with this storm and also a lot of rotation. So again, this is a dangerous tornado, confirmed, observed, long lived, making its way all the way from extreme southwestern portions of Kentucky, making its way uh, through Breckenridge and to eventually Hardin and Meade County. So again, that tornado warning in effect for eastern Breckenridge, also northern Hardin and southern Meade counties. This will be in effect until 1.30 Eastern time or 12.30 Central time. So we're tracking these storms and tracking this particular tornado making its way th uh, through the Stinnettsville community also towards uh, Burris, Woodrow, High Plains, High Plains in Breckenridge County, also Dyer, Virtries, and Four Corners. You're in the path of this uh, dangerous tornado, and we're also getting word now from our director about That's another video. video. Yeah, and where would this be from? Okay, video now of the Graves County Courthouse. Oh, my goodness. Look at the damage that occurred there from the strong tornado that moved through Mayfield earlier tonight, practically destroying the city's courthouse. And yep. we understand too from Kentucky State Police, there could be fatalities. We are working on further confirmation of that, but the destruction, uh, very severe, it does appear from the Mayfield community of Graves County from earlier tonight. These pictures just now coming in. That's right, and this is from the same tornado which is now in Breckenridge County earlier tonight over in Graves County. That was before uh, it reached its way into portions of uh, Hopkins County and Christian County uh, earlier. But now at this point, we are going to be dealing with uh, more uh, potential threat of tornadoes heading into tonight with that main line moving in late tonight and also uh, an more supercells beginning to make its way into the WBKO viewing area. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out now and take you to a new warning that's just been issued for Southern Christian County. This one's another area of concern for us because this is uh, making its way into central portions of WBKO viewing area eventually. But right now, towards including Oak Grove, this is an observed tornado with considerable damage threats, a confirmed large, extremely dangerous tornado near Big Rock. This is in Tennessee, Big Rock, Tennessee, moving to the north and east at 60 miles per hour. Notice that, that couplet, that strong rotation in northern Tennessee. I'll get the pointer out that way you can see that right in here. It's making its way to the north and east, making its way towards southern Christian County and could eventually clip southern Todd County. But that's uh, going to be a little far out at this point. But still, the next hour looks like it's going to be making its way into southern Christian County. Shane? Right. So as one tornadic cell moves out, unfortunately, another tornadic cell moves in. And it's this one now. It's very close to Dover, Tennessee. It's out of the coverage area at the moment. However, because of its rapid movement, to the east northeast that's going to take it into the WBKO viewing area in short order. Hence the reason Southern Christian County is now under that new tornado warning. This will be the area here south of Hopkinsville that takes in Oak Grove. That's also going to take in Fort Campbell. Here is the Penny Royal Parkway that will be here. Here is US 41. You also have 41A working out of Hopkinsville. 41A moves into Todd County. This tornado is heading to the east northeast and that's going to take it into these communities we mentioned fort campbell fort campbell by around 12:40, which is out here that base right at the kentucky tennessee line between hopkinsville and clarksville and then you have oak grove also in the path of this tornado at 12:46. the strongest rotation center it's out here in stewart county tennessee there it is right now but again the rapid east northeast movement is going to bring it into our coverage area in the next little while. So 
hardly a chance to even catch our breath here, unfortunately, but we're going to be dealing with yet another tornadic cell and potential here for more tornado damage as we move into southern Christian County within the next hour or so. And out here farther to the east, you've got Elkton, you've got also the Trenton area of southern Todd County. You're not under the warning right now in Elkton, but please be advised if you've got a tornado warned cell not too far to your west southwest that is going to be hauling it east northeast. Now, there is the actual radar site from Fort Campbell. We say Fort Campbell, it's actually a little bit east of there, but that's the way it's tagged. And then out here, you've got a lot of lightning showing up, and I don't like what I see here already. Uh, this is just a little bit to the east of Dover, Tennessee. We are noting a debris ball associated with this tornadic signature. There it is now. There's an updated velocity scan, and now it is moving away from Dover. Here is the Kentucky-Tennessee line right here. Hopkinsville, tip top of your screen. The area of rotation is now beginning to work out of Stewart County, Tennessee. It will be working very quickly in the southernmost Christian County, the area south of Hopkinsville. Here's Oak Grove. You also have Fort Campbell in this vicinity right along the Kentucky-Tennessee line and Lafayette as well. Here's Highway 107, Highway 117. You've got I-24, heavily traveled interstate between Paducah and Nashville. This tornado could travel right over I-24 within the next 45 minutes or so in the area due south of Hopkinsville and just north of Oak Grove. And here is Todd County. Again, Todd County not under the tornado warning right now. But don't be surprised if you go underneath one within the next, say, 45 minutes or so, given the way that things are going tonight and the fast movement to the east-northeast of this tornadic cell now straddling the border of Kentucky and Tennessee, Ethan. Yeah, that's right. And before we go any further into this storm, I do want to bring attention to what the other tornado has done uh, in its wake. And we have a lot of power outages. I'll go ahead and name off a few counties that have been impacted in the WBKO viewing area. In Hopkins County, almost 6,800 folks are without power at this point. In Muhlenberg County, over 2,200 uh, people are without power. Customers are without power in Muhlenberg County. In McLean County, over 1,200 without power. And in Ohio County, over 8,000 customers without power. Wow. And uh, at this point, we do have some reports of power outages in Breckenridge County, though we cannot confirm that uh, so far. But uh, shifting gears now back to this particular storm, uh, this one is another concern because, again, this is a confirmed large, dangerous tornado making its way into Tennessee, crossing over the Tennessee and Kentucky state line, getting closer towards the Christian County area, towards uh, portions of Kentucky Route 107 and just to the south of I-24. And what concerns me is the trajectory of this storm. So notice the, the direction of this. We are looking at this direction over the next hour or so, making its way closer towards the Todd County area. And that'll be over the next hour or so. But nonetheless, though, uh, the tornado warning in effect currently for Christian County, Southern Christian County in particular. And I just got word from our director of something. What was that, Jackson? Okay, so okay, so I want to direct uh, to the video we're about to show you. This is in this is in Grayson County, or Graves, Graves County. County, excuse Mayfield me. Mayfield area. Graves County near Mayfield. This is where that tornado earlier that crossed through Muhlenberg, uh, Hopkins County. Uh, that tornado, which is now off towards Hardin County, this was the damage that this tornado caused earlier in Mayfield. This is outside the WBKO viewing area, but just to show you the considerable damage that large dangerous tornado had caused at this point, not having any confirmation of any injuries or death, but as you can see, major structural damage. And of course, uh, as we mentioned earlier, Governor Andy Bashir issuing a state of emergency for Kentucky. There is uh, the courthouse over in Graves County, which is destroyed at this point, it looks like, Shane. Yes, just gut-wrenching images coming out of Graves County tonight. We do hope, hope that there were no fatalities there, but the scene is quite devastating from what we're getting there in Graves County. And again, this is the same storm cell that worked its way out of far west Kentucky into our coverage area earlier tonight. It's the same one that's now moving out of Breckenridge County and into the far, far northern tip of Hardin County. That one's moving away from us, but as that one moves away, another one is moving in. And the one that's moving in is the one that's heading out 
of Stewart County, Tennessee, and soon into Christian County. Here it is on Velocity Scope here on Max Storm HD, right in this area. That's where the strongest rotation is. Confirmed tornado out of this one. This is going to roll into Southern Christian County toward Lafayette soon. And then there's the Beverly community that's a little bit closer to Hopkinsville. Here is I-24, very heavily traveled corridor there from Nashville to Paducah. And velocity scan just updated. So on the new suite, we still see strong rotation here, folks, right along the Kentucky-Tennessee line. This would be south-southwest of Hopkinsville. Hopkinsville would be tip-top of your screen. Fort Campbell, just a little bit east of where this rotation center is. And here's debris detector. We still see this area here near Lafayette, close to Highway 107. The brighter area here, that light green and yellow, an indication that we have lofted debris from this tornado. Now heading into southernmost Christian County. Here's the Herndon community. Here's Highway 117. I know this is basically the fringe area for our coverage uh, areas that were here, but keep in mind, Todd County next door, you need to be paying very close attention to this. This is a confirmed tornado. We just dealt with one earlier this week in Elkton, as you recall, back on Monday morning. We hope to not have to deal with another one, but unfortunately, we do know of this one being confirmed and on the ground, and it is going to roll right over US 41, likely within the next 15 minutes or so. Here's I-24. It's going to cross over I-24 also within the next 15 to 20 minutes. Here's Oak Grove, rather populous community, not far away from Fort Campbell. Fort Campbell will be down in this vicinity right along the Kentucky-Tennessee line. That's where that military base is located. Then you have the Pembroke community. Pembroke, we haven't mentioned you in the far eastern part of Christian County. You're under that tornado warning as well. And there's Highway 41A as you head out of Christian County and into Todd County. There's where the radar site is between Pembroke and Trenton. This could actually go over, if not very close to that radar site here within the next 30, 45 minutes or so. We'll have to see what happens with that. But the bottom line is the danger that this presents. And here we are, well past midnight, pitch dark outside. These tornadoes are rain wrapped, going to be very, very hard, if not impossible to see. Don't try to chase them, gang. If you're under a tornado warning, you need to stay put shelter in place and by shelter we're talking the basement lowest level of your home with as many walls between you and the outside world that you could possibly find not as much lightning illuminating this storm as what we have with the supercell that just moved out of uh, breckenridge county a short time ago but nonetheless there is some lightning showing up here in southern christian county very heavy rain but our main concern is that tornado potential now near lafayette Right along Highway 107, that's where the tornado would be on the ground right now, where we have the inbound versus the outbound showing up here on the velocity scope. That will be heading toward I-24. Oak Grove, this could pass just north of there, but again, Oak Grove toward Pembroke need to be in a place of safety right now along Highway 109 as you head south to Pembroke for sure. And then there is a 41A as you work your way southward out of Hopkinsville. It's going to cross over... 24, that's I-24, I should say, and then 41A within the next 10 to 15 minutes or so with the potential that it could produce significant damage. Please be in your tornado safe spot right now in Southern Christian County. Hopkinsville is a little bit north of the warned area. This is all happening to the south of Hopkinsville right now, but Beverly, Oak Grove, down toward Pembroke, highways 107, 117, 109, up to 115, all need to be in a place of safety at this time. Now, I see the polygon flashing here. Do we have any new info coming down, Ethan? Um, at this point, it looks like uh, the National Weather Service in Nashville has been updating, uh, looks like Stewart County, which is near the Clarksville area, and uh, also will be soon be updating the warning that's in Christian County. This is a particularly dangerous situation of a tornado warning. It's been confirmed, it's large, and it's moving to the north and east at 65 miles per hour. So a very wow. fast moving storm. Once again, very similar to how it was earlier uh, tonight with that other very strong uh, damaging tornado. And uh, Stewart County in Tennessee getting reports of tornado damage and injuries. This is outside the WBKO viewing area, but this is the history of a tornado that's making its way into the WBKO viewing area. So just want to report this really quick. Stewart County, 
of reports of tornado damage and injuries. Walker Ridge at Link Road and also some power outages associated with that as well. And they've got an update now from the National Weather Service in Paducah, which is uh, having its importance over Christian County. Again, this is a particularly dangerous storm, an observed tornado, considerable damage expected, uh, a confirmed tornado located near Fort Campbell, at Fort Campbell, moving to the north and east at 55 miles per hour. So anywhere between 55 and 65 mile per hour winds uh, moving with this storm. So very fast moving storm with that strong rotation. Again, particularly dangerous situation. So this, this is one of those very large tornadoes, but we don't want any confirmation from anybody. We want you to be in your safe space. That's the most important thing at this point, making sure you're at the lowest level of your building. Uh, if you're in Southern Christian County, if you're in Oak Grove, uh, if you're in Beverly, Pembroke, and if you're in Todd County, Southern Todd County in particular, you need to be prepared at this point. There is no warning for you yet, but this is where you need to be extra prepared and staying weather aware at this point. But taking a look now at the latest velocity scan, there it is. You can see the red and the green, and we'll take a look now and see if there's any kind of debris ball at this point. And indeed there is. You can see that debris ball uh, very prominent uh, in the Fort Campbell area. Uh, just near Lafayette, making its way towards the Garrettsburg community and also towards Howell. And it's kind of hard to see because this is very close to the radar. And it's making its way to the north and east again at 55 miles per hour. So very strong, very fast moving supercell storm. We call it a supercell storm because it is having rotation with it. And that rotation is both aloft and also at the surface with this very large and dangerous tornado. Shane. All right, and there is a new velocity sweep just coming across right here, right along Highway 117, almost due south of Hopkinsville. That's where the tornado would be on the ground right now. Again, this is a PDS tornado, particularly dangerous situation, confirmed on the ground. This will likely cross over I-24 within the next few minutes or so. A very heavily traveled interstate between Nashville and Paducah. Here is the Penny Royal Parkway coming due south out of Hopkinsville. And then you have Highway 107. You also have Highway 41 and 41A in this vicinity. Here's Pembroke. And then out here, this is Todd County. Once you get into Fairview, you go a little bit wet or east of there, I should say. You've got Elkton. Here is US 6880. And here is Elkton. So if you live from Elkton southward, you certainly need to be aware of what is going on next door in Christian County where we have a tornado on the ground now. It will be working on the northern part, it looks like, of the Fort Campbell vicinity, which kind of straddles the Kentucky-Tennessee line. And then you have Fidelio at 1221, estimated time of arrival there within a couple of minutes. St. Elmo, that's in southern Christian County, 1229. Pembroke at 1235. And then Trenton, that's getting out here into Todd County now, 1244. So Todd County, you need to be on guard. You're not under a tornado warning as yet. That's a situation, though, that could change, and it could do so in short order, especially for those of you from Elkton down to Trenton, Guthrie, need to take heed of what's going on next door in Christian County. What's going on is a large tornado confirmed here due south of Hopkinsville. It is very close to Fort Campbell right now. Here's Oak Grove. It is likely to pass maybe just a little bit to the north of Oak Grove. It's heading just a little bit north of east right now, which will likely take it very close to, if not right over, the radar site, which is considered to be the Fort Campbell radar site, even though it's actually in Todd County, a little bit to the southeast of the Pembroke community along 41 there as you travel from Pembroke down toward Guthrie. Again, Elkton, Trenton, Guthrie, need to be watching with a very close eye what's happening here in Christian County you may see a tornado warning up for your area any moment now. You can see some new severe thunderstorm warning information coming across there just to the south of this tornado warned area. That would be for a portion of Montgomery County, Tennessee, I do believe. And yeah, there is the debris detector. Again, I'm still seeing an area right along Highway 117 near the Howell community now. Debris ball associated with this large confirmed tornado south of Hopkinsville. Very close to Highway 117. You got Hal here. Here's Fidelia we mentioned a minute ago. Here is I-24. Folks, this tornado is going to cross right over Interstate 24 
in just a few minutes. That tornado, there it is, very near the Howell community right now along Highway 117. Look at the inflow going into this very strong and then outbound winds here on the other side. That is a tight couplet, a very classic looking one and a very dangerous looking one here, to be honest. And again, this is going to roll right over I-24. It's moving east, northeast at speeds anywhere from 50 to 60 miles an hour. So this tornado moves right over I-24 in just a few minutes, very close to the Fidelio community. Here is US-41, also a very heavily traveled route from out of Hopkinsville and down toward the Fort Campbell base. So this is a fairly populous area here between Hopkinsville and Fort Campbell. And once it gets beyond there, it's going to be heading toward Highway 109, St. Elmo in the crosshairs, and then eventually beyond there, you don't have too far to go before this thing is in the Todd County, gang. So we've got to watch this one very, very carefully. Again, don't like what I see here at all here on the velocity scope with the rotation looking very, very pronounced and a debris ball also illuminated very brightly here on debris detection just south of the Beverly community. There's reflectivity, heavy rain here. Yeah, there could be some localized flooding tonight, but our main concern right now is the tornado potential. We have not just potential, but a confirmed tornado out of this one south of Hopkinsville. Now getting ready to roll right over I-24 and 41A between Oak Grove and Hopkinsville. That's where it's gonna go. And then from there, it is going to move very close to the Pembroke area, perhaps just a little bit south of there, and then it could go right over very, very close to the Fort Campbell radar site itself, which is out here in Todd County between Trenton and Pembroke. And from there, it will likely move into Todd County. So Todd County, if you live in Trenton right now, I would be going ahead and seeking shelter, especially given the swift movement of this storm. Ethan, what do you got? Got a report from the Fort Campbell Air Force Base. You have a report wind gust at their ASOS, which is their airport, at 69 mile per hour. So very, very strong winds at the Fort Campbell Air Force Base. And the Paducah National Weather Service updating this tornado warning. It is observed. Damage threat is considerable. This is a particularly dangerous situation with this tornado warning. So this tornado warning continuing for Christian County until 1245. Okay. I will not be surprised at all if they issue one for Todd County here momentarily. Yeah, I fully expect that to come soon. That's why I say if you live in Trenton, even if you live up toward Elkton, I would go ahead and be seeking shelter in a place of safety right now because this is going to be upon you in very, very short order. Again, here's the latest velocity scan right now. Has a tornado. And we know it's large. We know it's confirmed. Very close to I-24. I think with the next scan that comes across here, this will likely be right over, if not just a little bit east of the interstate even, given how swiftly it's moving. And then that would put it right over 41A or very close to 41A, due south of Hopkinsville and a little bit north of Oak Grove. It's going to pass between Hopkinsville and Oak Grove. Then it's going to head out here toward the Pembroke area. Could pass just a little bit south of there, but it's going to be a close call for Pembroke, it looks like, and then crossing into Todd County. So that would include places like Trenton, then up toward Elkton. I fully expect we're gonna get a warning there in Todd County very, very soon. So stand by for that if you live in Trenton or in Elkton. Again, here's a closer view. Here's the Fidelio community. That is along 41 between Hopkinsville and Fort Campbell. There's the debris detector. We're still seeing a debris ball, very well pronounced. It is just outside of Fidelio right now along I-24. Here's I-24 right here, gang. And there's a new velocity scope. And we are getting to the radar site here closer to it toward Trenton. So once we get closer to that site, we may have to dance around and look for some other sites to uh, detect what's going on here because it's going to be harder to see exactly where that tornado is. But right now, looks like that tornado will be very close to, if not right over, the Fidelio community. This is north of Oak Grove, south of Hopkinsville. Strongest rotation in that vicinity of Fidelio right now. This is moving to the east, northeast. This will take it towards Salem Church by 1127. Big Walnut Grove Church, 1231 in the morning. Then Pembroke, as we mentioned, 1238. Edgefield Church by 1240 AM. And that's getting out here now into Todd County. Again, we are just standing by for the Weather Service, I think, at any moment to likely issue a tornado warning for Todd County. Given what we're seeing here, we're still seeing strong 
rotation along now Highway 41. It has already crossed over I-24. Here's the area. So it's approaching Pembroke. This tornado could go right over or very close to the city of Pembroke, which is along US 41 as you work your way southeast of Hopkinsville. Pembroke is also very close to the Todd County line. Here's Todd County right here, gang. So we are standing by for a warning that will yeah. likely come down at any moment now for Todd County. Right. At this point, th there's, there's no warning, but still, if you're in Elkton, take cover now because this tornado likely heading in your direction at this point. It's a strong, confirmed, extremely dangerous tornado. And though the National Weather Service in Paducah has not issued a warning, we're going to tell you now to go ahead and take cover. We are, there, there's no, uh, any indication of this tornado weakening by any point. No. So uh, as it moves off to the east and northeast, moving very, very fast, mind you, it will impact folks over in Todd County. In fact, it's getting very close to the Christian County, Todd County line. As Shane had mentioned, uh, the Pembroke community uh, about ready to be under the gun for this very large destructive tornado. And taking a look now at the debris signature to see if there's any uh, major debris ball. And there is, although this is slightly delayed with the radar time, but still uh, there is signs of this thing having debris lofted in the air from this tornado, large, dangerous tornado and it is moving to the north and east at 55 miles per hour. So a very strong uh, tornado with us and move, very fast moving tornado as well. Yeah, again, here is Pembroke right now. So that tornado would be between Pembroke and Fidelio at the moment, moving east, northeast. Todd County, I would go ahead and be looking for a place of safety. If I lived in Elkton, Herman, Trenton, this is not very far away from you at all. So go ahead and be seeking shelter if you live in any of these communities. This has been a large confirmed tornado out of this storm cell in southern Christian County. Now moving southeast of Hopkinsville, strongest returns here that are showing signs of rotation between Fidelio, where the bright green is, and where the red is here just to the west of Pembroke. That is the likely location of the tornado, basically along Highway 109. That is southeast of Hopkinsville as you work your way into Southern Christian County. Here's Highway 41 going from Pembroke and over into Trenton, over in Todd County. And there is the Elkton community as well. You've got US 6880. Again, Elkton, Herman, Trenton, I would go ahead and be looking for a place of safety right now. Even though we don't have a tornado warning here as yet, I would be very surprised we don't get one within the next couple of minutes or so. Remember, this is moving very quickly off to the east northeast, speeds of 50 to 60 miles an hour. And also remember, this has been large and confirmed, this tornado with a PDS tag on it, a particularly dangerous situation. That's something we don't say very often, especially not in these parts. Okay, there's a new tornado warning. It's now coming out for central Todd County. That does take in the city of Elkton. And that is up until what time, Ethan? Okay, so it just came in. Uh, again, this is an observed, particularly dangerous tornado located over Pembroke and moving to the northeast at 55 miles per hour. This tornado warning will be in effect until 1 a.m. Central okay. Time. All right, so 1 a.m. Now we can say officially Central Todd County, this includes Elkton. This includes the Justice Community. And this is, by the way, out here looking to Logan County. Logan County, if you're watching around Russellville, pay careful attention to what's going on. You're not under a tornado warning in Logan right now, but be watchful for what's happening out here in Southern Christian County. Confirmed tornado now in Southeastern Christian County, near Pembroke, near US 41, that's getting ready to move out of Christian County and into Todd County, hits the new tornado warning that's up there that does take in the city of Elkton. It also takes in Trenton, and basically these areas from, say, Allegri all the way down to Trenton. If you live in between those two communities, seek shelter immediately. A large confirmed tornado now coming out of Christian County, moving its way east-northeast into the central part of Todd County. That could put it right over, not very close to Elkton, which was struck by an EF-1 tornado earlier this week. You can see a flashing polygon there of the tornado warning in Christian County. Looks like we've got an update on that one, Ethan. Yeah, that's correct. So it is still a particularly dangerous situation with this tornado. It's observed. It's confirmed. Um, tornado damage threat is considerable. Uh, it's moving 
over Pembroke, eight miles northeast of Oak Grove, moving towards the north and east at 60 miles per hour. So as we've okay. been echoing all night long, these are fast moving storms. And this is a very large, dangerous tornado associated uh, with this tornado warning that's in Christian County, now in effect for Todd County as well. And the latest radar scans, probably difficult to see just considering the fact it's so close to radar. And you can see it's kind of getting messy on the screen. Yeah, it is, although it's still discernible there near the Pembroke community. That's where the tornado would be right now, right over the city of Pembroke. And there's the uh, debris detection. Again, getting a little bit messier because we're getting closer to the radar site, but we still noted some debris there on the uh, debris detection over southeastern Christian County. And there's a closer view. This is Pembroke. Now you've got bright green here against bright red here along Highway 115 that runs from Fairview down toward Pembroke. Fairview is right on the Todd Christian County line. Here is US 6880. That goes from Elkton over to Hopkinsville. It's south of 6880 right now by a few miles, but not by much. So just south of Fairview between there and Pembroke, that's where the tornado will be on the ground right now, probably right along Highway 115, getting ready to cross out of Christian County and heading into Todd County. So here are the communities in the path. We have Bell's Chapel, 1237, Philippi Church, 1239, Trash Shop, 1243. That's getting into Todd County now. Standard Field at 1245, and the city of Elkton in the crosshairs for this large confirmed tornado at 1248. That would be the estimated time of arrival. So in Elkton, you need to be in a place of safety right now. Best place, if you've got it, basement or a storm cellar. If you don't have either one of those, they're the lowest level of your home with you, as many walls between yourself and the outside world that you could possibly find to stay away from what has been a large confirmed tornado that worked its way out of Stewart County, Tennessee earlier into Kentucky is moving east northeast and that's going to put it on a path unfortunately right toward the city of Elkton which was struck earlier this week by an EF1 tornado but this one potentially larger and it is going to move close to US 6880 it looks like within the next 10 to 15 minutes. So you need to be in a place of safety. And then out here, here's Logan County on the right-hand side of your screen. This is Gordonsville. Here's the Justice Community. That's along 178. Logan County, potentially next in line. So you need to be paying very close attention if you live there in Russellville. Ethan? You, that's right. And I do want to go ahead and make a, a point that you just said about Logan County is next in line. Uh, the National Weather Service in Louisville uh, has been watching this cell and there are good supportive environment ahead of this. So what that means is that the environment that's in Logan County, here in Warren County, I'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit more that way you can see uh, the direction this is heading towards. Not good news that, that we're having no. a, a good environment for this tornado cell to potentially be another long living cell, similar to the one that was uh, to our north earlier tonight. But uh, again, uh, tornado warning still in effect for extreme eastern portions of Christian County and central Todd County, including Elkton, until 1 a.m. So another 30 minutes or so for that. But the thing is, though, if you're in Russellville, if you're here in Bowling Green, you want to be weather aware, specifically on this cell heading into the next hour and a half, two hours, just because of the fact that this is a fast-moving, large, dangerous tornado. So uh, that was your first alert with that. But we're going to zoom back in now on this tornado, which is crossing over into Todd County at this point, uh, moving just to the north of the radar site. You can see that black dot uh, there just to the north and west of Trenton. That is where uh, this uh, rotation, this very large, dangerous tornado is. And I'll take a look now at reflectivity. This is looking at rain. And this is going to be a rain-wrapped large tornado. And as you can see, it's really hard to tell where that would be, where that tornado would be at least, considering the fact there's a lot of red. So a lot of heavy rainfall, very difficult to see in this situation. So if you're in Todd County right now, you want to be in your safe space, the lowest level of your building. Basement is the best spot. If you don't have a basement, the next best spot would be either your bathroom perhaps or a closet or stairwell anywhere that's away from windows or the exterior wall so you want to be as close to the center of your home as possible and you also want to be somewhere where they have the most sturdiest walls and bathrooms typically do have the sturdiest walls when you compare it to other rooms in your house 
But nonetheless, though, that is where you want to be right now, especially in Elkton. This storm is moving very fast and that rotation getting closer towards Todd County. In fact, right now it is crossed over into Todd County at this point. So Elkton, you are under the gun right now. You want to be in your safe space right now there. Uh, you need to be in that and it's beginning to get closer towards the I or the US 68 um, Kentucky Route 80 corridor, uh, making its direction towards the tre Tress shop over here in the next five to 10 minutes. You can see that here on that latest track. So at Tress shop 1242, that's here in about five minutes, roughly. And that's gonna be right along the Kentucky Route uh, 80, US 68 route corridor there. And in Elkton, you're under the gun at 1247, so just under 10 minutes at this point. Okay, so tracking this down, moving out of Christian County, this large, dangerous tornado. And I, I just got, got some new update, Ethan. Yes. Yeah, this is this is important. So now we have a new tornado warning for Logan County, okay. including Russellville, Lewisburg, and also extreme, extreme northern portions of Simpson County, right along the Kentucky 73 route, uh, just to the east of Auburn. So we have this extended warning now from the National Weather Service in Louisville. I'll go ahead and read off what this warning says, just to make sure. Uh, this is a tornado. A producing storm. It's observed located near Elkton, moving to the north and east at 55 miles per hour. That is the wording from the National Weather Service in Louisville. And again, this is for Todd, Logan, and also extreme northern portions of Simpson County. Okay, and that newest warning specifically for Logan and extreme uh, northwestern Simpson, the uh, pre-existing yeah. warning, that's the one there for Todd County. That's the one we're tracking heading toward Elkton right now it is getting ready to move very near 6880 that large confirmed tornado is and that's going to take it near the city of elkton in short order and then further down the pike traveling into logan county and perhaps the far northern or northwestern tip of simpson county so there's russellville russellville are now in a tornado warning need to be seeking shelter don't fool around with this this is a fast moving large dangerous tornado that warning extends as far north as Lewisburg. It also extends toward Gasper as well as Auburn. Auburn, you're also now under the tornado warning. And there is the far northwestern tip of Simpson County, also now under a tornado warning. The actual tornado is still back here over western Todd County, but because it's moving so rapidly to the east, northeast, basically following the 6880 corridor as it moves toward Russellville, you're not going to have much time to seek shelter and get into a place of safety. So go ahead and do that now. If you live in Logan County or the far northwestern tip of Simpson County where that new tornado warning is in effect. The actual tornado still back here. We are zooming back into Todd County right now. And again, because we're so close to the radar site here near Fort Campbell, we've got a lot of uh, attenuation going on here, but you can still tell where we have inbound versus outbound wind here. That would be not too far away from the Fairview area, not too far away from Tress Shop. That's between Fairview and Elkton. And Ethan, you got another update? Yeah, so this is actually reports of damage. Uh, this is behind this tornado. Uh, okay. It was in the Pembroke community. There are, there's reports of structure damage via radio traffic over in Christian County. So this is uh, a tornado that has produced damage. So yes. if you're in Elkton, take extra precaution, get in that safe space now. Okay, again, don't mess around. Please be in a safe spot. If you live in Elkton, this is going to be upon you in short order. That tornado warning, you can see it highlighted there, flashing there for Central Todd County. That does continue, and it also is in effect for the Tress Shop area here, 6880. The tornado is going to almost follow 6880 through the central part of Todd County, possibly right through the city of Elkton in the next few minutes, and then... As it heads eastward, it's going to head into the western side of Logan County. Here's Logan County now on the right-hand side of your screen. There's the Justice Community up top, and there is where the tornado is located. Very close to, if not to just a little bit west of the Tress Shop community now, working its way through central Todd County, heading toward Elkton, moving right down. 6880. Now, yeah. with debris detection, again, because we're closer to the radar site, it's going to be a little bit harder to discern here, but the tornado we know is large, confirmed, and extremely dangerous, as described by the National Weather Service. And getting closer now to the trash shop area, 
south of Tabernacle. That's up here in central Todd County. That warning does extend into your area. Here's Highway 181 that feeds into Elkton and continues south. Here's the Bradshaw community. If you live there, you also need to be in a place of safety right now. The warning extends all the way down toward Trenton as well as Herman. It looks like the tornado will pass though north of Trenton by a few miles going between there and Elkton. And here is the Bells Chapel. Again, here's the trash shop community. And then Highway 102, Highway 104. If you live anywhere along those highways, you need to be in a basement right now or in the home's lowest level away from outside walls, away from outside windows. Then next in line, once this crosses Todd County, it's going to cross through the center of the county pretty quick. Todd is not a very big county from east to west. It's going to head into Logan County next, so that will put it closer to Russellville in the not-too-distant future. Here's Russellville out here along 6880. You've got Highway 178 going from Todd County out of the Justice Community toward Russellville. Here's Whipperwill. And then here's Old Volney. This is Highway 79 that runs from Russellville down toward Fort Campbell. The tornado could potentially go right over that area within the next half hour or so. Right now, the tornado itself, where is it? Well, it's out here, likely between Fairview and Elkton at this time, a little bit north of where that sweep hand is going right there. That is the Fort Campbell radar site, which is actually located in Todd County. And we are projecting out here, estimated time of arrival for that large, extremely dangerous tornado. 1243 at Providence United Methodist Church, Daysville at 1248. And then Justice at 1253, that's getting out here to Logan County, Greenwood School, and Whipperwill, that is also just west of Russellville along 6880, which is right here at 1254. So this thing is gonna be in Logan County, folks, within the next 10 minutes. That's how quickly it is moving. And there is the latest look here at velocity. Again, the tornado signature right now getting closer to the city of Elkton at this time along 6880. Here again is Russellville. So this thing is going to almost follow, it looks like, 6880. Debris detection, again, kind of a little garbled here right now because of the proximity of Fort Campbell's radar but we'll continue to watch that. We should have perhaps a better idea of where a, a potential debris ball would be, especially as this begins to move away from that radar site, which is located near Trenton in Todd County. But again, a concern right now, the area around Elkton, 6880, tornado, and it could be a large tornado. We have to assume this is still on the ground and it will follow 6880 right toward the city of Russellville. Again, you're at a tornado warning now in central in northern Logan counties, this includes not only Russellville, but it also takes in Auburn. It also takes in Chandler's Chapel, Cooperstown, the Logan Aluminum Plant, which is between Russellville and Lewisburg. And then the city of Lewisburg itself, right on the northern edge of where that tornado worn polygon exists right now. But you still need to be in a place of safety, even if you live as far north as Lewisburg. Again, the tornado. The signature very close to, if not right over the city of Elkton right now. Still a lot of lightning associated with this over central Todd County. Now beginning to move into westernmost Logan County, kind of following 178 there. We're looking at velocity to look at winds, both inbound versus outbound. We've been doing this a lot throughout the night. Inbound versus outbound is where we would see that couplet. And where we see that couplet, that's where the tornado is going to be. And right now, the brightest greens against brightest reds very close to the city of Elkton in central Todd County along 6880. That tornado is going to follow the highway there, and it's a pretty heavily traveled road as you head toward Whipperwill first, and then eventually the city of Russellville will be next in line. And keep in mind, too, that this tornado warning also extends into the far northwestern tip of Simpson County as we go on in time. And this is moving to the east northeast pretty rapidly. It speeds of anywhere from 50 to 60 miles an hour. All right, Ethan, uh, any updates? Yeah, so, so far I have not seen any updates, but I'm seeing new area of rotation is formed near the Daysville community. Um, the tornado threat looks to be considerable. A confirmed large and extremely t dangerous tornado was located near Elkton. I'm looking at the Elkton camera right now. 
and a lot of rainfall coming down, a lot of lightning as well. And this is moving to the east at 55 miles per hour. And uh, the trees, uh, th they, uh, with these strong winds, could easily topple over. And we this is also a tornado that has the history of producing damage. And uh, I just put this imagery up live on the air. This is downtown Elkton that you're looking at right now. Yeah, so this is, this is where that tornado warning is right now. Uh, there shouldn't be any drivers on the roadway at this hour because this is a dangerous tornado. You see a lot of lightning. I'm not seeing anything in the distance uh, whenever the lightning flashes. Uh, but nonetheless, though, this is a dangerous tornado uh, moving through Todd County, moving to the east at 55 miles per hour. Also, uh, this tornado warning now includes Logan County making its way uh, to the North Andes, getting close towards the Russellville community. And uh, we'll let this camera roll for a couple more minutes uh, with that heavy rainfall. So yeah, that's an impressive shot. It is very impressive. And not, not to mention, too, another example of telling us that uh, if the tornado was, were to be here, it's hard to tell because of how much rain is coming down in a very short period of time. And it looks like the camera feed just went yeah. out. So that is a bit concerning. We'll go ahead and get, take it back now to the velocity scans on Doppler Max. So I'll go ahead and take you now to uh, current reflectivity. And um, once this loads, I will be able to show you where these storms are located. We'll go ahead and zoom in now into Logan County. Uh, this is going towards Russellville. We'll take a look now at that velocity scan, which is the, the winds, the rotation. And there is that couplet near the Whippoorwill area. We'll take a look now at the correlation coefficient telling us where that debris ball could be. And right now there is a debris ball. It's not as prominent as the one earlier this evening, but still there nonetheless, right along the Todd Logan County line, just to the north of US 68. Uh, Shane, we are dealing with uh, very strong winds with this as well. The Elkton yes. camera's still out. Yeah, that is of course disconcerting. We'll keep checking on that. We saw that rain. Wow, and the wind, very, very impressive there in downtown Elkton a short time ago. This kind of weather that we just saw in downtown Elkton, Russellville, you're next in line. There is Russellville now coming into view with debris detection here. There's that debris ball. It's very close to the Todd Logan County line south of the Justice community, Justice right on the county line there. The tornado will be moving away from Elkton right now, will be into eastern Todd County, and is going to be into Logan County very soon. So Whipper Will, here's US 6880. Here's Highway 178. If you live anywhere along those two highways, boy, you need to be in a place of safety if you're not already there. And there is a rotation center right now. It's already in Logan County. That's how fast this thing is moving along. It's now moving away from the justice community between there and Russellville. Uh, Ethan? I'm going to take us now to the Russellville camera on our okay. AAA systems camera. That way you can see the winds starting to pick up. You can see the lightning in the background really picking up as well. Yeah, this is looking to the southwest, by the way. Looking to the south and west. Okay, so this is looking uh, somewhat away from that rotation, but nonetheless, so you can see uh, these storms coming in and also a lot of heavy rainfall beginning to make its way into the Russellville uh, area there. And I'm going to take a look now at any updates with regards to reports still looking like a particularly dangerous uh, tornado uh, making its way um, through the Logan County area. And again, this is looking to the south and west on our Russellville AAA systems camera. Well, wow. There was a impressive flash of lightning. Yeah, so that's just a good indication that you shouldn't be outside for multiple reasons, no. of course, with a tornado, but also because this uh, frequent cloud to ground lightning making its way uh, into the area. And I'm trying to look for those flashes, see if there's any kind of funnel and it's kind of hard to tell on this camera, but I'm not seeing anything at this point. Okay, we will continue to check that. Again, the situation of concern, now moving out of Todd County to Logan County, that would be where the strongest rotation is, a few miles west of Russellville. So we're gonna keep checking on that camera imagery from our AAA Systems webcam in downtown Russellville as it looks to the south and west. There is our area of concern right now. It has moved out of Todd County already. That's how quick this thing is rocking and rolling along here along Highway 178 south of Lewisburg, although Lewisburg, you are in the tornado warned area. If you live close to Logan Aluminum, south of Lewisburg, Logan Aluminum is between Russellville and Lewisburg. Please be in your basement or lowest level of your home right now. A tornado is getting ready to bear down upon you, and it could be a large tornado at that. Still a lot of lightning 
clustered in this area between Lewisburg and Russellville. Ethan? Yeah, the Weather Service in Louisville updated this warning. Uh, they're calling it a radar indicated warning, but with the, considering the fact that this has uh, had a history of producing damage, it's been confirmed all the way through Todd County. We're still going to be making sure that we are making sure everybody is safe with yeah, regards to this. Yeah, we're going to err on the side of caution here. Exactly, exactly. It. And it's moving uh, to the north and east at 60 miles per hour. And uh, this again, this is a still a tornado warning for Logan and northern Simpson County until 1.15 this morning. Okay, so we are nine minutes away from 1 a.m. Here's the tornado warned area. This does include the northwestern tip of Simpson County. Here's Warren County. We continue to watch how things progress here. Still oh noting my. a debris ball. There yep. it is, north of Highway 178 and due east of the Justice Community. There's Lewisburg, so this would be south of Lewisburg. This would be getting ready to cross US 431, folks, within the next couple of minutes. There's that debris ball, which is still a strong indicator that a tornado is on the ground here. Now moving into central parts of Logan County in the area between Lewisburg and Russellville. This was likely to pass just a couple of miles north of Russellville. Russellville, if you live there, still need to be in a place of safety right now. But this tornado, it looks like, is going to pass right over US 431. There's the Danby community, which is just a couple of miles outside of Russellville to the north. Logan Aluminum right about here. So if you live near Logan Aluminum, please be in your basement or your home's lowest level. Still very likely to have a tornado on the ground with this one. Next up would be Cooperstown. And then you also have Gasper. We've got Costello out here. You have Insco. And then here's Highway 79 that runs from Costello down toward Russellville. If you live anywhere in this vicinity, same for Auburn. Please be in your home's lowest level right now. Tornado warning continues in effect. Here's the movement on this, fanning it out to the east-northeast. Thompson School at 12. 55, so just a couple of minutes away from now. Cooperstown, 1256. And then just past 1 a.m. for communities like Homer, as well as Gasper, and then the Costello community by 113. That's getting out here into the northeastern corner of Logan County. And then you go just a few miles beyond that, and then we're into Warren County. Too soon to say if this is going to move into the Bowling Green vicinity or Bowling Green proper, but if you live here in Warren County, need to be in tune to what's going on next door to the west over in Logan County where that tornado warning remains in effect. Again, this tornado looks like it's going to pass just two or three miles to the north of Russellville. That's where the strongest rotation is located right now along highways 3519 and US 431. Here comes a new velocity sweep and that now puts that tornado closer to the Cooperstown community, which is located a few miles east of US 431 and also southeast of Lewisburg. And next up would be the Chandler's Chapel area, which is located along Highway 79. Uh, Ethan, an update? Uh, not an update, but a concern of mine. You notice how there's two areas of dark red and even some green showing up, mm -hmm. not only in Cooperstown area, but also in Russellville. So, yeah, noting that too on the last scan. Uh, down around Russellville. Uh, how's it looking in downtown Russellville right now on our AAA webcam? Okay, I'll go ahead and pull it up really fast okay. and see uh, if we got anything out there. But see some very strong winds. There was a lot of lightning there earlier. Very strong winds. That camera is shaking due to those very strong winds right through Russellville this hour. And I'm not seeing any lightning yet, but that camera, again, shaking quite a bit on our AAA systems camera due to this tornado warned cell producing very, very strong winds, moving very, very fast with this very strong tornado passing through the region. So, again, this is our camera looking off to the south and west uh, at the Russellville camera. Correct, Shane? That's right. Uh, just saw a little bit of lightning there, not as vivid as what we saw a few minutes ago. There's another flash. Again, the uh, tornado, though, going a little bit past you to the north in Russellville right now, between there and Lewisburg, but not all that far away. We're talking only about two or three miles to the north. This is downtown Russellville we're looking at there. Now we're back on MaxStorm HD and you notice here the reflectivity of the twisting here, the bending right around Cooperstown. That's where our tornado is right now. This is the one that we've been tracking out of Christian County, out of Todd County. It took little time getting through Todd County. Of course, Todd County, not a very big county from east to west. Now 
into central Logan County. It looks like we have a new update on this tornado warning, Ethan. That's right. It's again being confirmed, and you can see it is focused there. And for me, I'm concerned because there are two areas of rotation with this uh, tornado warning. Uh, the first one, there they are, just to the east of Russellville. The second one, just to the north of Cooperstown. This is the the one that is three miles south of Lewisburg. That is the confirmed tornado moving to the north and east at 55 miles per hour. And again, this is something that you want to be taking extra precautions on if you're in Bowling Green, if you're in Warren County, because this is heading to the north and east. Very fast moving storm as well. Yeah, I think we may see two new warnings come out in the not too distant future, Ethan. One will be for a portion of Warren County that could, could take in the city of Bowling Green. And another could be for Butler County, which is up here to the north. Given the trajectory of this area of concern, which is where the tornado is down near Cooperstown, that's moving to the east northeast, it could clip across the southernmost tip of Butler County. So I would not be surprised if these sections of uh, Butler and Warren County go underneath tornado warnings soon per the National Weather Service out of Louisville. We're going to stay tuned on that one. In the meantime, tracking the tornado now in Logan County. Two areas of concern here. One is the one here north of Russellville that we're most concerned about. That's where the rotation is strongest. Also keeping an eye on this area of dark red that you see just east of Russellville. Something could be trying to form out of that, but out of the tornado itself, we're looking at arrival time here out of the strongest portion of the storm for Auburn, 101 a.m., Costello at 105, Richelieu at 114, Scherer at 118, and then Hadley, that is in northwestern Warren County, 125 a.m. So within the next 30 minutes, this storm cell is going to be arriving in western and northwestern parts of Warren County. And here's Bowling Green just outside of the track here. But again, this is moving to the east-northeast, so that's going to take it closer and closer to the city of Bowling Green. Already I'm hearing some loud thunder rumbles outside our studios here on Russellville Road. There is that debris ball still showing up very definitively near the Cooperstown area just south of that community that is located between Lewisburg and Russellville. That debris ball associated with a tornado that we have to assume is still on the ground crossing over US 431 and now heading through Cooperstown. Next communities would be Chandler's Chapel as well as Gasper. Please, if you live in those areas, be in your safe space, be it a basement or the lowest level of your home, staying away from outside walls and staying away from outside windows. There's the other rotation yes, getting more to find. of concern there. You got one there now east of Cooperstown that's heading toward Highway 79. It is between Cooperstown and Gasper now. But now we've got another area of concern, and this has been developing over the last couple of scans now east of Russellville, between there and Auburn, right along US 6880. Okay, it looks like a new tornado warning is coming down that is going to include Warren County. Is that correct? That is correct. It includes Bowling Green, it includes Greencastle, it includes Smith's Grove, Sugar Grove, and also Rockfield, Oakland. My phone's going off now for that tornado warning you just yes. heard on my phone. Uh, but this is a tornado warning. This is observed tornado a tornado producing storm located eight miles north of Russellville moving to the north and east at 55 miles per hour. So that is this one here in Cooperstown. Yes. I want to be chatting with the weather service about that second area of rotation could be clipping per per perhaps maybe southern Warren County uh, near the Auburn community also into Logan County here momentarily. But again, yeah, look, we got those two distinct areas here. One just east of Cooperstown, the other one approaching Auburn where Rotation appears to be trying to strengthen right now. That's going to follow 6880 toward Bowling Green. So if you live in the city of Bowling Green, now's the time to seek shelter and do so in your basement or your home's lowest level. Tornado warning now for much of Warren County, including Bowling Green. And this also takes in southernmost Butler County, including the Dimple community, and also takes in communities north of Bowling Green, including Greencastle, Richardsville, you're in the tornado warning. Anna, you're in the tornado warning. Hadley, you're also in the tornado warning. Again, dangerous situation with the storm now moving through Logan County, showing not one, but two distinct areas of rotation, one of which is just to the southeast of Lewisburg right here. A lot of lightning situated around that one. And then another one that's been developing over the last 
couple of scans here between Russellville and Auburn. That one is going to ride right up 6880 and into southwestmost Warren County. So that's going to take it toward places like Rockfield as well as Rich Pond. Those communities also within that tornado warned area. The city of Bowling Green now under a tornado warning for these storms over Logan County currently, but they're not going to be there long. They're moving pretty rapidly off to the east northeast. That warning area extends into south Butler County and also the southeastmost tip of Butler County just north of the Green River in on that new tornado warning as well. So the areas of concern right now, one near the Cooperstown community that's in northern Logan County. The other is along 6880. It's very close to Auburn right now. Again, if you live in Auburn, got to be in a safe place if you're not there already. And then Richelieu up next. Here's Gasper. This is easternmost Logan County we're looking at here. Still areas of concern, two of them. You got one there approaching Richelieu right now. There's still a debris ball there. Uh, there it is, east of Cooperstown. It's between Cooperstown and Gasper. And another area we're watching very carefully is that area of rotation that's trying to get going now near the Auburn community, east of Russellville. Noting something peculiar there, too, with that one. That one could be trying to uh, touch down as well. So two areas of rotation right now that are strong, that are pronounced. Both are making a beeline toward Warren County. And the one to the north is also going to clip across far southern Butler County near the Sharer community. So Sharer, arrival time around 109 for the tornado there. Hadley at 116 and then 124 for Bowling Green. So about 22 minutes here in the city of Bowling Green, we could see a tornado move through. Please get into your tornado safe space right now. 129 in Greencastle. And then a little bit farther out from Bowling Green, heading to the east, Oakland, by 147 this morning. Two areas that we are watching very intently. One north of Chandler's Chapel right now. That's along Highway 79, an area of rotation there. And then another one closer to Auburn. Now working away from Russellville. Russellville, you're in the clear, by the way, now. And it's Auburn over toward South Union. Keep in mind, the northwestern tip of Simpson County is still under a tornado warning right now. And then as we cross over into Warren County, you've got the Browning community. We talked about Rockfield, Rich Pond, and then we're getting into the city of Bowling Green. And I'm sure, Ethan, the lightning is becoming more and more frequent outside right now on the city's west side. Yeah, let's take a look now at our AAA systems camera looking at the west side, looking towards the uh, Russellville area. This is looking just to the north and east. I'll go ahead and move this camera around to get a better image of uh, what we are dealing with and I'll kind of take I'll zoom around to the uh, more towards the south and a lot of lightning and a lot of strong winds out there for us I'm not seeing anything so far on our camera but I'm gonna let let it stay there for a moment that way you can see what's approaching the Bowling Green metro area so far I'm not seeing any uh, kind of funnel perhaps but I'm not seeing it, it, it's just a lot of lightning at this point yes. so far. Yeah, the lightning, uh, we're looking to see that can illuminate the storm base, which would be now almost due west of Bowling Green. If we have a funnel, that's where it's going to be located. We're looking almost right down 6880 right now. As you look west from out of Bowling Green, our AAA Systems Live weather cam, lightning increasing in its frequency now over Bowling Green. You can hear a lot more thunder out there as well. Tornado warning in effect for the city of Bowling Green, also for a large portion of Warren County. And that, that extends into parts of Butler County as well. The two areas concerned now rolling into eastern Logan County. And they're going to be getting ready to move into perhaps extreme southern Butler County and also into westernmost Warren County. All right, there's reflectivity. We're looking at the rain here, and it's blinding rain from... Sugar Grove, Richelieu down toward Auburn. Lots of lightning. We're definitely seeing that now west of Bowling Green. But a concern, a greatest concern at that is the tornado threat here. Velocity scope. We're looking at a couple of areas. One near Richelieu right now. There could be a tornado on the ground there. And then another one showing up that dark red that you see on the northeast side of the city of Auburn. There's Highway 73 that goes north from out of Auburn. You got a stoplight there. 
just before you arrive at the city of Auburn as you travel out from Bowling Green down 6880. You go north of there. There could be a tornado in that vicinity right now that will be getting ready soon to cross out of Logan County and into southwesternmost Warren County. Here's the city of Bowling Green for perspective. This will likely arrive in the Bowling Green area. The strongest storms within the next 15 to 20 minutes or so. Again, lightning, thunder increasing out there. And there is a tracker. Arriving right now in the Share community, that's up here in far southern Butler County. Hadley at 114, Barron River at 123, and arrival time for Bowling Green, 129. So just a few minutes away. And then the Anna community that is north of Bowling Green in northern Warren County by 135 this morning. Keep in mind, these storms are zipping right along to the east-northeast, moving anywhere from 50 to 60 miles an hour. So that underscores the importance of being in a safe space here in Bowling Green, away from that tornado, putting as many walls between you and that tornado as you can. And best place to be is going to be in a basement. Cover yourself up with blankets, pillows, a mattress to protect yourself from any flying debris. Here again is Velocity Scope. You can see the areas of deepest red, one just south of Sugar Grove, a lot of lightning situated in that area. And then the other one there now moving away from Highway 73 that's getting ready to cross over now into Warren County, just north of Rockfield. So two areas here where there is rotation showing up and that will soon be crossing over US 231 and also I-165. Now here's debris detection, we're still seeing it there to the southwest of Richelieu. You see that bright area against the magenta or dark red. That's a sign that we still are likely to have a tornado on the ground producing damage in northern Logan County, getting ready to cross now through the Richelieu area, which is right where Butler, Logan, and Warren County meet. That's right there. And into Warren County. You got Hadley up here, just a little bit to the southeast of Sugar Grove. This tornado could be upon you, Hadley, within the next 10 to 15 minutes. And then beyond there, you've got Greencastle. We mentioned Barron River. We also mentioned the Anna, Sand Hill, and also Richardsville areas a short while ago. That tornado could be affecting those communities north of Bowling Green within the next 20 to 30 minutes or so as it rockets to the east northeast moves out of Logan County and quickly into Warren County but it may clip southern Butler County as it does so around the Richelieu area so you need to be in a place of safety there in southern Butler County as well from Dimple and points to the south there's the lightning showing up here that extends all the way down to near the Woodburn community right now winds are going to pick up in the Bowling Green area, we think within the next 10 to 15 minutes or so. And of course, we're going to be dealing with some blinding downpours associated with these storms. A little closer look here. Here's Browning. You see that area of deep red now moving out of Logan County into the Browning vicinity. There are two areas we're watching. This one right here, this one right here near Richelieu, two distinct areas of rotation. And those areas will be moving into Warren County very soon. This has been another in a series of long track supercells throughout the night. This one has had a history of producing a large confirmed tornado that was described as dangerous earlier as well. We had another one of those attracted the area earlier tonight. Right now the lightning is situated over western Warren County and there's the debris detection still not liking what I'm seeing there over the northeastern corner of Logan County and also near Richelieu areas of concern there where debris may be being lofted from the ground up into the sky. And here is where it sits in relation to Bowling Green. Again, keep in mind the forward movement here is generally to the east, northeast, but still cannot let your guard down here in the city of Bowling Green in the metro area, as this will likely be passing through or very close to towns such as Hadley and then getting up toward places like Barron River as well as Greencastle, Richardsville, Anna, Sand Hill, all in the line of fire here from this tornado as it moves out of Logan County and into Warren County. Also keeping an eye, as we mentioned earlier, on the second area of rotation. Not seeing as much down there with that one near Auburn right now, but going to keep a close eye on that one. You're still in the tornado warning, by the way, in northwesternmost Simpson County for the next little bit. There again is Bowling Green now coming into view. There is Browning. Here's Greencastle to the north of Bowling Green. 
Still seeing a couple of areas of concern. One here near the Browning community, another one now moving away from Richelieu over across Highway 1083, and that will be approaching Hadley. Hadley is along US 231 in northwestern Warren County. You've also got I-165 moving out of Butler County and into Warren County and into the city of Bowling Green. Of course, this whole area here within that red line, that's the tornado Warren area that takes in much of central northern Warren County, also takes in parts of southern and southeasternmost Butler County, the adjacent sections there for those two distinct areas of concern. Still quite a bit of lightning showing up there on the latest imagery and the rotation centers, two of them are watching, one near Browning and another one now moving out of the Richelieu area and into westernmost Warren County. Uh, Ethan, we're watching very carefully the weather cam. Yeah, this that's one's getting closer. That's right. I'll go ahead and pull it up here momentarily, but the thing is, though, it's not going to do any justice considering the fact that a lot of heavy rainfall associated with these storms. This is looking off to our west and northwest, uh, looking towards Russellville Road right along I-165. And notice those flashes. You can't really see much beyond the, the tree line just because of how heavy this rain is coming down. So this is another indicator that this could be uh, if, there's, if, there's, if there's a tornado confirmed here, it is going to be a rain-wrapped tornado. And nonetheless, though, we are tracking that strong rotation that's moving through uh, Warren County at this hour. I'm going to take it back to reflectivity. We just got an update uh, of the radar scan, and it's starting to come down pretty hard here. Yes, it is. At the WBKO studios. We'll go ahead and zoom in now where this warning is. Notice all that dark red indicating that heavy rainfall. And taking a look now at the reflectivity. This is uh, vol this is ve velocity rather, and notice the dark red and the bright red. I'll, t I'll get my pointer out really quick. You can see right here the bright red. That's the inflow of this storm, and the dark red. And notice right in here towards the Brownie community, that is where there could be some potential rotation there. It looks like to the north also uh, towards uh, just before the US 231. That's where there's also some rotation as well, Shane. Yeah, two distinct areas. We noted that as they moved through Logan County earlier. And there they are. And boy, that wind is really raising a fuss now here on the west side of Bowling Green, banging against the doors here of our studios on Russellville Road on the west side of the city. We're watching two areas. One due west of Bowling Green for rotation. That would be right here just to the north of 6880. Here is 6880 that runs between Bowling Green and Russellville. And then a little bit farther to the north, the other area of concern that would be closer to Hadley right now and to the northwestern side of Warren County. That would be moving toward the Barron River vicinity right now as rain is really coming down now here on the west side of Bowling Green. It is getting noisier by the minute. The wind is picking up as the crux of this storm now rolls into the city. And there's still some indication of debris there over western Warren County along Highway 1083. This getting closer now to US 231. We mentioned Hadley. That's with that one rotation center on the north side of this storm. The other one on the south side is down here closer to 6880. So that would be not too far away from the Rockfield vicinity at this point. Again, Rockfield and everybody in the city of Bowling Green need to be in your tornado safe spot at this time. And then working to the northeast toward Loving, you got Tuckertown up here. Anna, you have Richardsville, Greencastle. Greencastle a little bit closer to that northern rotation center, which is very near Hadley right now, crossing over US 231 and I-165. We continue to watch for reports and also watching lightning illuminating the cloud bases here near Bowling Green. All right, there is the live view. Our AAA systems weather cam, wow, look at the heavy downpours. It's torrential here on the west side of Bowling Green. Wind picking up, rain picking up, but of course what we're watching too is any potential tornadic development. And it's going to be lightning illuminating storm bases that would help us do that. And you can see the, the waves of rain literally rolling across here as the city lights are making that a little bit more pronounced right now. This is a live look from our AAA Systems webcam. This is looking west-southwest. We're looking right down 6880 into this tornado-worn storm. Yeah, and so far I'm not seeing anything, uh, any kind of rotation, at least on the camera. 
at least. That light just gave us some more insight. Didn't see any kind of funnel at this point. But I'll go ahead and mess around with the camera real quick. I'll take it back to our velocity really quickly. That way you can look at other areas of rotation here in Warren County. Let me go ahead and pull that up here just momentarily. And we'll go ahead and zoom in now through Warren County. Okay, and yeah, you can see there on reflectivity, that little curly cue right there just a moment ago, west of Bowling Green, right here, approaching I-165 and also what would be Morgantown Road, US-231, as you work your way west out of Bowling Green. That would be one area of concern right now. So that's approaching the west side of Bowling Green and really the northwest side of the Bowling Green metro area. Possible tornado with that one right now. Again, we're looking around. We continue to check our weather cam for any possible funnel. Not seeing that right now. That doesn't necessarily mean there's not one, but I am very concerned still about what I'm seeing here in this area along Morgantown Road and close to I-165 now approaching the northwest side of Bowling Green. There could be a, a tornado spin up involved with that. Also still noting some dark red returns southwest of Bowling Green closer to Nashville Road in that vicinity, and that is going to ride right into the city here in the next little bit. And wow, it's really getting noisy out there now. Yeah, actually, I've just seen something on camera right now. I'm going to pull that up momentarily. And uh, there was some darkness in the sky, but it went away really quickly. But um, nonetheless, so this camera shaking quite a bit uh, from the storms. You can see right now, this is our AAA systems camera. Okay, lights are going out here on the west side of Bowling Green. There are power outages. Yeah, I'm looking at that, that, that dark spot over there uh, towards the right of your screen. You can see it getting darker and the power is going out in those locations. Keeping a very close eye on that. Not seeing any funnel from the, from the lightning strikes yet, but this is one area I'm concerned with. I, I saw something uh, just before I took it on the air and notice how dark the sky is um, with that. Yeah, we just heard the back door over here, our studio is banging around quite a bit like I hadn't heard in a long time. Some power going out here on the west side of Bowling Green. We're looking west-southwest, right down 6880. The camera's shaking around quite a bit. Still very noisy outside right now. Yeah, it certainly is. And uh, again, not seeing anything now, but notice a lot of those power outages uh, towards, the, towards the west side of town. And it's really hard to confirm anything at this point without the help of lightning strikes. But again, not seeing much of anything other than that heavy. Okay, that would be our backup generator. Are we still on the air? I believe we still are. I hear my microphone, so I yeah, believe we're still. Yeah, I still hear you. Yeah, backup yeah, generators. Yeah, we are still on the air. We're backup generators are on. Uh, we lost all of our cameras, so we're not able to see what's outside right now. But I'm going to try to pull up radar and see if we have any uh, uh, new updates with regards to that. We're going to zoom in now on Max Storm HD, uh, where this tornado warning is in effect for Bowling Green and much of Warren County. And our computers are having a difficult time after that power outage of low.